the content grind stream. Can we zoom? I'm hitting control plus. Ah, yes. Alright. Go be on top, you gotta go. Alright, let's start this off. Let's start this off with an opinion that can. You know, this is not an opinion. Let's start this off with a fact. That can literally not be disagreed with. And if you disagree with this, you are getting banned. This is the worst fucking stage of the game. This map is dick. It is horrid. It is terrible. I will not... There, there is literally no doubt in my mind that Wahoo World is the worst map ever created it is so bad that fucking that dumbass meme that dumbass meme of people walking up to the fucking thing top left this is a timer yes it is that that shit ruins the map get it out that shit is dumb as fuck why is the entire the entirety of the map is based around a fucking spinner going mm, every fucking 30 seconds. It's so bad. You, you ever wipe? You ever play? I know you have, because it's, it's in solo all the time. Hey, Milana. We're making a tier list. I'm talking about why this map is horrid. Have you ever played a Wahoo Clams game in solo queue? Where you wipe the enemy team... You wipe the enemy team, you go to push, and then, and then you look in front of you, and there's just a fucking giant ass gap. There's just a giant ass gap that you can't get across, you can't jump across the gap. So you have to go bottom, and you have to go around their court, and by the time you do that, the Hydra has respawned and is spraying you from his literal base, which is above the basket, by the way. They have permanent high ground on you above the basket. And this happens on TC, because you can't clear the first checkpoint because it's below the bridge that opens every 30 seconds. And in Rainmaker, the spinner literally pushes the Rainmaker backwards. You're pushing and you're getting slowed down by a map mechanic. The map mechanic is pushing you backwards. It's also opening the spinner mat. It's so bad. It only works on zones. It actually only works on zones. It's so terrible. Do I like Wahoo zones? No. I mean, it's better than the rest, but no. Just go the other way. All right. Can, can we get someone in a PB with me? Can I can I get somebody in a PB? Somebody, somebody, I need I need a singular person in the PB. Just go the other way. Alright, let me show you what happens when you just go the other way. Here's a is a visual demonstration of what happens when you just go the other way. Where's Wahoo World? Recon? It's not in the it's not in the fucking rotation right now, so no. Alright, that's enough people, I think. Alright, I want you all to be on the anyway, hold on. I need you to stand in several different locations. I want one of you to stand on your top left, one of you to stand in spawn, one of you to stand top right, and one of you to sit in your mid. Just stand in those four different locations. I'm gonna show you why this map is dick. Dude, this can literally this this isn't even like 
This isn't even a map tier list video. This is a singular video about why Wahoo World is horrid. <laughs> I can literally, I can literally make a video explaining why Wahoo should not be in the next game. Why we should remove this from tournaments entirely. Get it out. <laughs> Get it out, please. <laughs> Watch this. Yo, over our oven, oven scent. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, all right. Let's start off. Okay, the spinner starts off like this, right? All right. Now look at this. The only way to get into mid is to come here, walk up here, and walk along unpaintable, an unpaintable glass. The only way to get into mid is to literally walk into mid. Oh, look at that. You see that? You see the charger over there? Oh, wow. The charger gets up there before I get over here. I'm walking past a charger sight line. The only way to get into mid is to walk across glass. All right, now the spinner is open. So now the map is slightly playable. Notice I say slightly because the mid is a fucking circle. And the only way to get into the enemy side without going mid is to go here. And when you go here, there are people standing above you, up there, up there, up there, and up there. You're literally permanent low ground if you don't want to walk into the clusterfuck of the circle that is mid. Right? Now let's say, let's say you finally somehow get enough clams to push, right? You, you get your 10 clams after you collect the clams spinning on the bottom, by the way. These are constantly moving. Just to remind you, those are constantly moving because the spinner is always moving. Say you, uh, oh wait, oh damn, I got enough clams to finally push on my side of the map. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, cool, now we can push. All right, so now you can push top right finally, and you finally get enough clams, right? You score, you score, kill me, somebody, somebody shoot me. You score your points. All right, you score your points, your team wipes. All right, cool. All right, now enemy team, I want you guys to start collecting clams. Start collecting clams and try to come to my side. Don't score, but start collecting clams. All right, look, all right, how do they score? Where do they go? Oh, look, this is where they're going. Oh, look how I'm just shooting them from my top. What, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do, walk across? What are they gonna do, walk across this? I'm literally standing above, them. what do you do? What do you do? Go around to my spawn? There's guaranteed some guy just sitting here. Defending on this map is standing up there and standing up here. What do you do? Walk across court? Or you're literally getting sprayed from bottom, from top side. What do you do, man? It's so bad. It, it's awful. Use bubble sets some? Alright. Use bubbles. Alright. Here, here's your, uh, here's my visual representation of what happens when they use Oh, they're pushing from bottom with bubbles? Oh, cool. Oh damn, unlucky really. I guess the bubbles are gone. Alright, you can knock them up. You can knock it out now. I've I've said my piece. Terrible map. Awful. Get it out. Remove it. Also, also, this Gobi and not Gobi, fuck Gobi, too. Fuck, fuck Gobi too, by the way. But this was worse. Wahoo Clan is unironically or has unironically been in tournaments before. Why? Explain. The entire map is based around a fucking spinner that closes and opens. Get it out. Get it out. All right. That's not even mentioning that 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 was literally only talking about clams. I didn't even mention the other two modes that are dick zones is whatever I guess. But unlucky really. 
next map. We're going bottom to top, by the way. Make S tier? I couldn't make it. S tier is easiest. I know. I think I'm just gonna put things down. I'm not gonna like do it in order. Actually, I have to do it in order. I'm gonna get confused. Uh this. I think this is un this is an undisputable opinion. It's a fact even. This is here. This has to be here. Right? I think this is a fact. Massive ST? I think this is a massive ST. Alright, think about this map. You know, Mako. It's good for short. It's so good for short range. It's so good for roller, bucket, blaster, etc. But think about this. Think about, okay, oh, you're so biased. Of course you put Mako in S tier because it's good for blaster and bucket. You've seen a charger play Mako zones before? You stand on top mid and you shoot into the enemy team spawn. There is literally no weapon that is bad on Mako. Every weapon is good on mako in some sense in some way literally every weapon is good on this map this map's so good it's so good mako's worst mode is probably clams it's probably the, the worst mode on mako is probably clams simply because it's so small that if you wipe the enemy team is already in your base but that's a lot of the clam map. Like, like a lot of the maps in the game just don't feel like they were designed for clams. Because the enemy team is already in your spawn after like two seconds. The only downside of Mako is that it's really claustrophobic in clam, but everything else, it's alright. Or not all right. everything else is spectacular. Zone spectacular. TC spectacular. Rainmaker, spectacular if you're not stupid and you go bottom right. Clams, is it could be better. It's all right. Camp D for sure. Uh, we'll get the camp. We'll get the camp. I have to think about that. And uh, another undisputable fact: Sturgeon S tier, amazing map. You simply cannot disagree. A hundred bits. This is content. Oh my! Thanks for the fucking hundred C dubs. This is content. A tier at bet. <laughs> Explain. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sturgeon zones, spectacular. Every map, every every weapon, good on Sturgeon zones. Not bad for anything, right? Tell me something that's good on Sturgeon zones, or that's bad on Sturgeon zones. Tell me one. Tell me one weapon that's bad on Sturgeon SC. So balance. It's good for aggression. You can play like a bitch. You can play like a bitch and just sit on snipe the entire game. If you want to sit in the middle of the stage, you can. If you want to push into their court, you can. If you want to play E-Leader and literally shoot the entire length of the stage, you can. YouTuber? YouTuber is fucking horrible. Rainmaker Sturgeon. All right. Here's my take. Here's my take on Rainmaker Sturgeon. It's really fucking cringe. It's really fucking cringe. Actually, this goes from Rainmaker Sturgeon and Mako Sturgeon. It's really cringe when some guy is throws mist at the block that you use to go to the left path. Like, you literally can't do anything about it. There's nothing you can do. You can't make the jump. However, comma, go the other way. The answer is to go the other way. Now on Mako, that's kind of a problem because the other way is to their spawn or underneath their spawn. But on Sturgeon, you have the sponge, which is kind of not viable unless the enemy team is dead. But you also have right side, which is very viable because you could walk up the right side. You could also climb the block. Sturgeon clams is really fucking good, I think. Because it's one of the few maps where, like, you have to... The, the clam spawns are so spread out on Sturgeon Clams to where if you just inst... If you wipe, the enemy team just isn't instant in your base. They have to go collect clams around the middle of the stage. They'll have the middle of the stage. Like, you're gonna lose mid for dying. But you're not gonna be base locked after you die. 
TC Sturgeon is also elite. TC Sturgeon is fucking fire. Alright? I don't even know how to describe Wild Shark. It's just super fucking fun. But like, I don't know. The, the same thing that I said about Zone Sturgeon, I can apply to TC Sturgeon. The, the only thing about TC Sturgeon, my only gripe, my only grievance with TC Sturgeon is that Jetpack is a little too strong. Jetpack on Sturgeon is a bit too strong. Unless you have a Charger, they will Jetpack from your Spinner and you will get destroyed. Like, you, you cannot contest it. Because the Jetpack from Spinner just instantly melts everything in court and melts everything in your fucking spawn because you can hover there. That's my only grievance with that map is Jetpack's a bit too strong and it's kind of hard to camp. If your comp is good, then you'll probably be fine because you can just throw a ball. Keolan, alright, here, alright, alright. That map's not ST. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that map is not S tier. I like it, but it is not S tier. That map is dick. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, this this is horrid. I don't think I need to explain to you why walleye is bad. Right? Do we all we all understand why walleye is a bad map? Right? It's just shitty map design. The map is a straight fucking line. Right? I think we all know. We we can we're all in there. We can literally move on. The map is a straight line. That's all I have to say. People are gonna be mad about this. People are gonna be angry about this. Ink what? Ink bot's not an S tier map. That's A. I will die on this hill. If any I put it in B, but I'm gonna put it in I'm gonna put it in A, but it's not an S tier map. So, I talked about my, my reasoning for, I talked about zone, I talked about Rainmaker, Sturgeon, and Maker, right? Well, I said, just go the other way. On Ink Block, you can't go, there is no other way. We're gonna, we're gonna start off talking about Rainmaker Block. There is no other way. There's only left. You go left. And you get bomb spammed left. If you wipe, the game is over. Because the... The path is so short. But if you don't wipe, the game takes place in mid. You're fighting a four minute or a five minute battle in mid. And the moment that one team fully fucks up, the game is over. It ends. Rainmaker bot is fucking horrid. Terrible. Zones zones I have a bot. I don't know. I don't like Zones Bot because I don't play Charger, and it's really annoying for a guy to sit on top mid and do backflips and shoot you in your spawn, but I think it's pretty alright. It's pretty, you know, you can retake on that map. The watermark looks really weird because it's like white over white, I just saw that. I don't mind it, I don't like it, but I don't mind it. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty strong, short range is pretty strong in the mid, pretty strong when you actually get onto the plat. I'm pretty strong in mid underneath their plat, but like the range weapons are also pretty fucking abusive of the top mid, which is really cool. Uh, really cool as in really nice that both sides of the coin are balanced. Not that I like getting shot in my spawn. Not really a fan of getting shot on my spawn. Inkbot Tower has to be like Inkbot Tower is probably the most played map mode in competitive Splatoon. Like unironically, like. I don't think I've gone a single actually besides like zones only tournaments. Inkblot Tower, amazing, phenomenal, fantastic. It's a classic. We all know why it's good. I can't really say anything bad about it. I mean, the bad thing about Blot Tower is when you're in your spawn, you're kind of fucked. But like if you're if you're so far pushed back into your spawn that you've lost your back plat, then you fucked up. It's not that the map is bad. It's that you fucked up. Cause you you have to lose you have to lose mid. You have to lose the entrance to your plat. And then you have to lose your back plat. You can lose two of those in one fight, but you have to lose two fights before you start getting snowballed. 
You don't just lose one fight and instantly lose the game. Ray and missiles are hard to beat. All right, here's here's what you do against Ray. Against Ray, on blot, you jump out or you change elevation. See, this is the good thing about this map. You you can change elevation, so Ray shit like Ray and Pack is kind of a, a bit weaker. They can't just shoot in one spot and kill you. You, you kind of have to. You gotta work for the kills a little bit. Missiles are really fucking broken there. I'm not gonna lie. Also, clams ink blot. I am a fan. I know a lot of people aren't a fan. In my opinion, Clams Blot is probably just a better version of Mako Clams. It's kind of claustrophobic, but it's a bit more open. It's literally just a better version of Mako Clams. It's it's just more open. The left side block and the left side and the right side block are literally the left and right side stacks. The map plays literally the same, besides the fact that you can go bottom left and bottom right to build special. Actually, it's literally the same. The layout is actually the same. What keeps it out of S tier? The Rainmaker on this map is horrible. It's way too bad. That's what keeps it out of S tier. The, the thing about these two maps is, I have very small grievances with the Rainmaker on both of these stages, but like you can just go the other way. But the Rainmaker on this map is actually terrible. Also, I think the zones is a bit too punishing at times, but like, you can, you can kind of get around it, but I think it's a bit too punishing, but the Rainmaker is horrid. That's what keeps it out of S2. What's next? What are, what are we going to next? This is a, I don't know, I don't know. I want to put Reef in S. I can't think of a bad thing about Reef, honestly. I want to put it in S, but I also want to put it in A. But like, I want to put it in that. I think it's S. I think it's an S. I think Reef is fire. Reef is so balanced. True. Rainmaker ain't too good. I. Here's the thing. people. I feel like. I feel like Rainmaker Reef has a bad reputation from when it was really fucking bad. Like, it used to be really bad, but then they changed it once and it was still really bad. And then they changed it again. And then it was fine. Like Reef was good. Reef was Reef was A tier pre pre uh the thing getting changed. I was clicking my OBS screen trying to drag the fucking thing. Holy fuck. Reef was like here. Pre pre map rework. And then map rework and it's so fucking good. Zones, so balanced, so good for everything. You can retake on this map. There is so much space. Alright, here's the thing. You cannot fuck up a retake on Reef. Like, you have so much space, so you have so much space to build specials, so many different places to come in from. You can come in from top mid, you come in from bottom left, bottom right, top right. It's just so much hydrate, I need the hydrate, honestly. Honestly, it's so, there's so much space to retake on Reef. So good in zones. And when you hold, see, you hold and the enemy team is above you. All right, think about this. This is what I don't like about some maps. It's with your holding, the enemy team is like fully above you and you can't do shit about it. Like on Gobi, for example, like they're way too high above you. But on Reef, they're above you, but you can shoot them if they get a bit too comfortable just walking into mid. Like they, they have the space to retake. They have plenty of space to retake, but like you can do something about it. You can fight it. They can't just like walk into the middle of the stage. Like, you can contest the retake. TC Reef? Kinda snowball-y, honestly. Kinda snowball-y? When it gets to, like... I think... Alright, here's the thing. I think the checkpoints on Reef are really good because they take so long. Like, the back left check and then the, the check next to the, like, the closed. That's what keeps that map honest because that map is really fucking snowball-y. But, like... The checkpoints keep that 
I don't want to say the word in check, but like, yes, in check. Also, you have to keep, you have to watch your plat, because if you get flanked, you're fucked. You have to have bridge, and you have to have a guy on tower, which only leaves one guy free to roam. So you're like, you're not going to get like super hard base locked. Oh, I, I am turning this. I have it. Reco I'm recording this. <laughs> yeah, I have this recorded. And then, so like, there's not, there's not like a guy just roaming, or there's only one guy roaming. There's not like two, so like, it's pretty alright. Rainmaker Reef, like I said, hey, you have two paths. You actually have kind of three. You can go mid and then split top right. You go mid and then split left, or you can just go full left, roaming. When I say roaming, I mean one guy just free to do whatever they want. Because on Reef, there's like three central points of the map. You want a guy on the plot holding their plot. You want a guy on the bridge you want a guy on their left and you want a guy on top i mean i guess the guy the guy on plat and the guy on bridge are kind of like interchangeable like you can be on plat and be watching bridge you can be on bridge and be watching plat so you have one guy that can just go around searching for kills doing whatever the fuck they want but you need a guy in that top on that mid area mid to right area you need a guy on left and you need a guy on tower obviously because tower doesn't fucking move no one's on tower so and then Clam Reef is just really good. Clam Reef is probably, I don't know, maybe this, maybe my opinion here, I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I think Clam Reef is probably the best Clam map in the game. I have no grievances with Clam Reef. It just feels correct. The basket, not too close to the spawn. It's not fucking, it's not so close to the spawn that you just get shot from the base. It's not so far from the spawn like Moray where you literally can't defend after you die. You get a bit of high ground to defend the basket. You run a you run a good comp with some bombs in it, you'll retake your basket pretty easily. And there's not just one way, like no one's funneling clams from one spot. You can funnel in clams from mid, in their plat, from left, and the spawns are nice. The spawns are on your plat, some are in the left, some are bottom mid, I think they spawn top mid sometimes. Like the spawns are really good for just getting clams and then scoring, but they're not so close to the basket that you just instantly lose the map. I think it's really fucking balanced. So that's why Reef is that. Honestly, Reef S tier is probably above both of these. I'm gonna be real, like in, in terms of like, I can't, I don't think anything's wrong with that. Like, I think these, like, they kind of have a slightly weak Rainmaker. I don't think this has a weak anything. I don't think. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a Reef. It's a Reef moment. What are we going to do next? I think that that's all the S tier maps, by the way. I don't think, I don't think any other map goes up here. I think we're done with the S. Reef or Tanzania just change too much? Hopefully not. Well, yeah, that's because too narrow? Yeah, too short. Or too... Yeah, literally a straight line. Pretty bad. Manta? Compact? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get next. I can't... I'd like to think. This is why I just start working from bottom to top because I'm going to like get confused about what I want to put where. Uh, this is shit. This is horrid. This map is terrible. This map, all right. These two maps play the exact same. Wahoo and Maul are the exact same map. The thing is, Wahoo turns into Maul when the spinner opens. When the spinner is open, it becomes Maul. And Maul is just fucking bad. <laughs> it's, it's like Mori on the sides where you just have narrow clothes there's nowhere to go. If a guy pops Stinger, you insta die. If the guy's holding you with a wall, you can't fucking push. If the guy's holding you with a bomb, you can't fucking push. Your only way into mid is going up a fucking ramp. You go up a ramp, you're getting bombed up the ramp. You can't walk up the ramp because people are just shooting it. You have your top left. You go top left, you walk up the top left. You have to walk across the top left. And then you, you, you on the grates. And if you go far left, like the little ramp above it, you're literally disconnected from the fight. There's nothing there. And then when you get to the top of the ramp, there's a grate. 
so you just get bombed or shot on the grate. Retaking on the map is horrible. Getting into the middle of the map is horrible. It's too favored to the team that just wins the first fight. This is one of the maps that's like super impossible to retake on. It's just way too hold. It's like holding is like way too easy. The court, the court area just doesn't get fucking used. Like when you're in the bottom of your court, you're either getting sprayed or you're trying to get special. It's just really fucking weird. It's so bad. That's like that goes for like everything. Not even just zones. Like TC Mall. Honestly, TC Mall is fun, but it's a, it's way too unbalanced. TC Mall, you just you win the fight mid, you walk up their right side, and you walk into their top right spawn. That's it. The middle, the court is ignored. The checkpoint is gonna clear itself when the guys are standing on it. But like. Yeah, TC Mall is fun, but it's not balanced. You just walk into their spawn. <laughs> like, you actually walk into their base. Rainmaker Mall is fucking awful. Because you're just getting shot exactly, like, from the top side constantly while you're trying to cross court. The problem is court. That's The problem is it's too narrow on the sides, and court is fucking useless. And when court has to be used, like on Rainmaker, you just get shot. And then... On Clan Blitz, court again, it's fucking useless because you just get shot, but you have to go from two different directions. So, like, if you want to go two different directions, you either go right and you go on the rail, like, who's gonna let you just fucking sit in the rail? You go bottom, court, and you just get sprayed from people above you. You walk on the left grates, cool, you're walking across grates to get to the basket, and you go into closed which is the only viable spot where you're not getting shot by people above you. Oh wait, I lied. There's people spawning and shooting you from the top left close, or you're just getting bomb spammed in the close. It's just a really shitty map. You literally can't do anything. The map usually ends up people just fighting in mid for five fucking minutes afraid to die, because if you die, you lose the game. Well, that's how that map plays. Pretty bad, pretty poor map. Uh, this map is so bad dude we have a couple goby actually all right i'm gonna be fair to goby i think i need another tier i think i need another one hold on yeah i i need another tier i need an f at a rumble low i changed the color of this by mistake my bad Right, now we can be fair to Gobi. Because Gobi's not as bad as these maps. But it's bad. Alright, zones of Gobi. So remember when I was talking about that problem about like when you are holding and there's people just like sitting above you and you can't do shit about it? Unless you're a fucking E leader that can shoot into their spawn? Yeah, this is what this map is. When you're holding on Gobi, people are literally standing above you. Like, they're towering above you. There's nothing you can do about it. The color is bothering you? Wait, red, 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 red. Yeah, this is pink. This probably shouldn't be pink. Let's make this... What was this before this? That was not this. Oh, what was this color? Oh. Fuck it, we're just making it a random color. We're making it gray. Light green? Oh yeah. Oh wait, there's literally an order. Oh, trailer. On this screen, right? Alright, there we go. I feel like it should be the other way around. All things considered, but whatever. People are towering above you in zones the entire game. The only way to get into their spawn is to go around the fucking right side. Which is, when, when you go around the right side, you're walking up actual, literally five sec or four or five seconds of unpaintable ground. And then you're just going to get shot from their spawn. Like someone's going to be watching you. You want to go left, you have to walk up to a narrow street. And it's less narrow than like walleye, but then you just die. You're, you're walking up. See, that's the, the problem with Gobi is that the flanks are unpaintable. To actually push, you have to walk. 
And if you're walking, you're not swimming, people see you, and you die. <laughs> the only like, viable way to get onto their plat is to go to their left side and jump across. But you have to go top left, swim through top left, which means you have to dip down, you have to swim down a ramp, and then jump across. In which case, you're probably getting shot. Rainmaker Gobi is fucking horrid. The right side you have to walk, the left side you get misspammed. See, this is. Alright, Rainmaker Gobi is Mako, but worse. <laughs> because the answer of just going right is you walking, and you going left is you just getting spammed in a choke point with 50 million bombs. You can't jump across plat because the Rainmaker is so slow, like someone's just watching it. The map is just too hard to push on. Like, it's way too hard to push. Literally impossible. TC Gobi is just shit. You just get spammed. The tower is below. It takes too long to clear the checkpoint. The checkpoint in TC Gobi is literally in front of the enemy team's plat. They just shoot you. <laughs> like, you just get shot. There's nothing you can do. The people are above you. They're just shooting down at you. And then Clam is just fucking... I, I don't... Dude. You can't go right. You can only go left. Bubbles are insanely fucking broken. I mean, bubbles are broken in general. But the only way you can push is with bubbles. Because you have to go bottom left. Are you partnered yet? You have to go bottom left to score. Because you can't go anywhere else. So you can go on their plat. So you have to use bubbles to hold. Because otherwise you're just gonna get sprayed. Face cam for content? I'm not wearing a shirt. It's it's 94 degrees. You see it on the bottom right of my screen. <laughs> you have to use bubbles to hold or you can't score. Bubbles just insta kill you if you fuck up. So like if you fuck up then you just lose the game. If you don't fuck up, then people are just sitting in mid shooting each other. It just doesn't really work out. Maps too bad. Who cares you're not wearing a shirt? Twitch TOS! What do you mean, who cares? What's next? What are we getting? What map are we getting into? Take Sturgeon out of ST right now. Oh no, you're lost. You might be lost. There's trap stream, but you might be lost. Uh, Kelp. Hmm, do I put Kelp in B or F? It's so shit, but I don't think it's as shit as the other three. F? F? You see, here's the thing. Kelp is dick. Rainmaker's dick. Clam is dick. What's the other map? Or what's the other map called? TC is dick. But zones is better. Zones on kelp is better than zones on these maps. That's the only reason it's in D, is that it has a better zones. Zones is so bad. I think you think zones is bad because you just split the, you don't split the map. You go in one direction. You go left, you pop a cloud, you go mid, you pop a bomb rush, and then you send one guy on the flank and you will get a retake. You'll be fighting for a long ass time, but you'll retake. It's not narrow enough for me to put it in F. Wahoo Zones. Wahoo Zones is better than Kel Zones. But Wahoo other modes are horrid. Actually, these modes are horrid. Actually, you know what? I have to put it in F though. Because the three modes, these three modes are shit. It has an okay zones. This has a better zones, but the other three modes are way too bad. Personally, I think this is a, I think the kelp zone is better than the wall walleye zone. I mean, not walleye, than Wahoo zone. Not even gonna cap, but sure. Kelp TC is literally unplayable. Actually unplayable. Kelp clam is actually broken. Like, it just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work because of you scoring from mid. It just doesn't make sense. Like, that, there's literally no counterplay to it. Like, you throw, I mean, throw a bomb, I guess? 
they're just gonna score. I mean, they're just gonna paint it and wait. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't make sense. Can you explain why you think wall kelp zone is better than walleye zone? Yeah. I think... Here's the thing. I think walleye or wahoo zone is like, um... I don't know. Wait, I have to like think about it. This is probably about even. Like, in my head... In my head, retaking on kelp feels a bit... I think it just feels a bit easier to retake on kelp because there's actually a flank that's why because you can come in from more than one direction that's why i think it's a bit it's a bit better because you can go right and drop off the grate i mean you're dropping so like maybe they just camp you but like now you can go far right you can go on the top right grate but on wahoo you're coming from below always you're coming from below and you're all stacked on the left side or you're on the left flank climbing the wall and there's someone always sitting there that's why or when you're walking across right side you're walking across glass kelp zone kelp zones and compass like a d that's what i think what about going right oh yeah when you're going right you're walking across glass that's why and walking across across glass like i said is not nice Sending a CDS on there? I mean, you can send the CDS there, but you have to run a weapon just to do that. Like, think about this. Think about the reasons I put these maps up here is because I say, like, everything is gone. You have to run a CDS or something to get across the glass to actually play that part of the map. Otherwise, you just die. You just get bomb spammed or you get shot at. Kelp is shit. These maps are shit. What are you putting? Where we go next? Play pen? Yeah, ballpoint's good on that map. Ballpoint's good. Ballpoint's good on both of these maps, actually, but like the maps are fucking awful. I don't think anything else is enough. Nothing else is enough. Everything else is like D or more. Or D or better. Port is F? Port's not F. Actually, here's the thing. Port have no experience with port because port could be f but i don't play it port got shadow banned. port doesn't have the issue here's the issue i think this map is shit but this map is still played i think this map is shit but this map is played we know these maps are shit because they were in the first game and they did not change port changed but it got shadow banned anyway so i never play it in comp so i don't have a competitive opinion on it but i still think it's d i don't think it's f shadow man shadow man is like in tourneys there's like a there's an unsung rule for tournaments where some maps just don't get put put this on youtube yeah i'm putting it i have it recorded there's an un, there's an un, um, unsung rule that to's have where they just don't put some maps in tournaments it's this map this map this map this map this map it's basically all the, most of the splatoon one maps just don't get put in tournaments this map is never in tourney, but I don't think it's as bad as these. As these. He's learning no way. What's up, dude? I don't think this map is as bad as these. One? Alright, he said... Here's the thing. This one, it doesn't have a flank. You can't retake it with a, with a flank. But, you have a lot of room to paint. Like, you have a lot of room to get special. Like, in your spawn. Right? Stingray is annoying. Yes, I get it. Stingray is cringe. But you can't tell me. All right, here's the thing. Don't lie to me and say that Stingray is better on on port. Like, I, I get it. I get it. Don't tell me that Stingray is better on port than it is on Walleye and Maul. Because the thing is, on port, you're getting raid in a lane, right? You're getting raid when you're swimming down a lane but you can swim to the other lane correct when you're getting raid on walleye there is no place for you to go if you get raid raid in your clothes you will die if you get raid in your clothes on mall you will die if you get raid in the lane on port swim to the left swim to the right 
Climb the block. That's that's the answer. It's cringe because it's a straight all of the map is straight. But you can avoid the raid. The raid's not gonna get multiple kills. That's the thing. The thing is on walleye, if you pop raid, you can die to raid and spawn on walleye. You're not gonna die to raid and spawn on port. Because you have the sponge to move around. You have the top side. You can switch elevation by dropping the top to bottom. You can go up the fucking mid plat. But the middle of port. The middle of port is fucking cringe. It's just bomb spam. But like, that's the only reason I think it's better is because of zones. Clam port is unbalanced because scoring is cringe. <laughs> clam port. The basket is way too far from spawn. The clam spawns are literally fucking everywhere. Like. <laughs> There's like five different spawns in mid. There's so many points. It's just too unbalanced. You just you score a football and you look behind you, and then you have enough clams to get to 20. And when they're spawning in, they have to spawn in from way too far. Rainmaker port is, I don't know. You have multiple direct it's literally just fighting. You just fight and see if someone dies. The only reason I have port in D and not in F. Is because the rainmaker on this map i think is better because you can split directly the rainmaker can go a different way it's not that different i mean it's it's not like how do i say it you have more than one path the paths are shit because they're so close to each other but there's still more than one and then tc I haven't played TC on this map in so long. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I literally don't know how it functions, but it's jetpack's really strong. Ray's really strong. Missile is really cringe. All of the cluster specials are fucking awful. TC here is really not endurable. Rather play mole. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. No. I know, these maps are just I don't want to I would rather just not play any of these four maps ever I'd rather not have to play these maps if I didn't have to but I'd be okay with playing them my my competitive experience with port is I only play port zones and fucking all zone scrims and then I randomly get in an area cup all the time because the randomizer really loves to let us play port and I would rather get port zones than zones on any of these fucking stages ever On to the next map. I'm not arguing with anyone on this. This map is shit. <laughs> Actually, this map is at the top of D. It's not as bad as these two. Maybe C. I'm putting it in C. I'll be fair to it and put it in C. Actually, no, I won't. I'm putting it in fucking D. The map is D. See, that's the thing. Here's the thing. That that exact statement. That exact statement is why people like camp. Because it's unique. Unique doesn't mean good. It's different, but it's not good. <laughs> Like, it, it's different in the sense that, oh, you have to play a 2-2 two -two split, and you can't help your teammates. It's like, okay. What's the advantage of playing that 2-2 two -two split? That's it. You're playing a 2-2 two -two split, but it's not nice. Also, also, that is only in zones. That's only camp zones that has, like, the 2-2 two -two split going on. See, here's the thing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my head. Based off the merit that I've given other map. Alright, let's go, let's go in order. Clam on this map is fucking horrible. Clam on this map doesn't function. The map, the game literally breaks. I don't know why. Clam camp has fucking massive frame drops. It's only this stage. All the time. I've never played a game of camp clams in a scrim where the game just doesn't fucking shit itself. And I don't know why. I, I actually, I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know why. It's fucking horrid. I think I have one recorded. I'm pretty sure I have it recorded. The, the game is just, it just doesn't work. E 
even even besides the fact that the game just decides to just fucking shit itself on that map, it's pretty bad. The clam spawns are way too far back. The map is too long for you to actually get clams to extend. There, the clams are in their left side, like on the over the ropes. So you have to go over there to get clams, and then they're way back in your street, and then way back on your side. The spawns for the clams are way too fucking far. If scoring on that map means you're getting shot at from base. You're if the enemy team has a charger, you literally cannot score. <laughs> You're getting shot from spawn. Did we talk about Wahoo? We did talk about Wahoo. I'll talk about Wahoo and how it's fucking awful. You're literally getting shot from spawn. You have to force down a lane. It has the problem that a lot of the maps have below it. Or that this map has, this map has. And kind of port. Yeah, port and mall. Where you have to force down a lane. The lane is a bit, the lane is way wider than the other lanes, but it's still only one direction to get to the basket. I mean, the only other way you can get to the basket is flank up there top left, but like, you can't do that. Yeah, you can change the title. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. The only way you can get to the basket is by going through mid. So you just have to fight a four-man battle of mid, and then one kid's on the wall, so he has permanent high ground on you. One kid's in their spawn, he has permanent high ground on you. You just can't score. You have to force mid. You either force with Ray, you force with Bubbles, or you force with Tent. You literally can't score otherwise. I mean, you can kind of force with Jetpack, but like, if you shoot the guys below with Jetpack, you can't kill the guys above sitting on wall or sitting in their spawn. That's why Clam is like, not nice. Also, the spawns are just shit, like I said. Um, Rainmaker. You just camp the rain. <laughs> like, you, you literally don't score. You literally can camp the entire fucking map. For the entire fucking five minutes. You get, like, any slight lead. I unironically believe that you can win with a lead of 80 on this map. You just, you put it on the left fucking elbow and you just watch it from both sides. We're talking about camp. It's just really shit. Ray is too strong. Ray is way too strong because it clears the sides way too well. It... it Okay, think about this, think about this. You said, I, I just read in chat that camp was made for tent, right? You are completely correct. Camp is made for tent. Rainmaker is not made for tent. To push properly on camp, literally, so many, on so many occasions, to push properly on camp, you just need to have invincibility to brute force down a straight line so bubbles armor doesn't count armor doesn't keep you alive for long enough you need bubbles you need a tent shield you need a wall wall is immobile so you can't push with the rain i guess you can run bubbles to push you walk through the bubbles or you run tent and you walk through a tent shield you have to run bubbles or tent to push at all and like i said before i put these maps up here because of the weapon variants I put these maps down here because either they have really glaring flaws or you can't play shit else on these maps. You can't play shit else on camp. You need a tent, you need bubbles, or else you, just, you can't fucking move. And even with those things, the map is still just a straight linear line that's just fucking shit. Explo, you, need, you don't need an explo on zones, but it's really fucking good. It's really good. Optimal comp probably has an explo. Like, optimally speaking, you probably want one. But you don't... I don't think you necessarily have to have one. What's next? Oh, I didn't talk about TC! I didn't talk about TC! Oh, yeah. Um, the tower is over the water. The entire fucking game. That's... That's why it's bad. <laughs> The, the tower is over the water. And again, like I said, you're permanently low ground. You're permanently low ground and you're over water. So you can't even get off the tower to dodge the people shooting you. Because if you get off the tower, you fall into the water. Octa Squad? No way. 
You, you can't do anything. Peace, peace, Luigi. You have a good nap. You can't dodge the ray? Yeah, you can dodge the ray. There's, there's always a ray on that map. So the, the pushes are literally shit. They're just stalled. And if you somehow fuck up to the point where you let an enemy team push on you, you're not getting it back until the middle of the stage. Just this, this FF. Just give up. Forfeit. You're not, you're not pushing down the middle of the stage. Splash down on tower. Hey, you splash down and you instantly die to water. Unlucky, really. What's next? Albacore. Eh. Is Albacore next? Oh, you're not gonna like this one. You're not gonna like this one. C. I'm putting Mori in C. I'm not trolling. I'm putting Mori in C. I'm unironically putting Mori in C tier. Not trolling. Alright. Here we go. Listen. Get ready to listen. Listen and listen well. Here we go. Here we go. Number one. Let's get the, let's get this singular point straight. Let's just not talk about this at all. All right, like let's get this straight and then we can move on from this. Flam More is fucking awful. Wait, hold on. James Sat or James Sat sixty six or James At I guess. Thanks for following. I appreciate it. Flam More is awful. It is terrible. It is terrible because when you lose the middle of the map, you lose the game. The spawn, the basket is in the middle of the stage. Your spawn is five flights of stairs above the middle of the stage. You do not get back to mid before the enemy team is finished knocking out the game. <laughs> But here's the thing though, here's, here's my distinction between why I put camp here and I put more here. You know how I said you have to have a tent on camp or the map feels like shit? Or like you probably want a tent? You have to have or you want to have some guy to be a statue and never die on more. Or you want to have beacons. Now here's the thing, you can have a guy to play, play not to die on more without like it drastically changing literally everything you're doing or you can run a beacon weapon without drastically changing literally everything you're doing because you just want to constantly be alive you don't want to fully wipe on more because then the enemy team is in your spawn and you have to clear them from your spawn then get to the middle of the stage then fight in the middle of the stage then fight up their side of the stage to do the same thing they were doing to you but zones more actually not that bad i feel like there is a misconception there is a misconception because people have played splatoon 1 or watched splatoon 1 so fucking much that there's like holy shit e-leader is fucking broken on more e-leader fucking sucks on more <laughs> it's not that good it's actually not that good <laughs> it's it's pretty fucking bad yes the charter can stand on their snipe or stand on their second tier where the tc goal is and shoot you into the middle of the stage i guess cool every wall on mori is fucking paintable just sit on the wall just paint the wall literally just paint the wall <laughs> short range long range weapons i think they're kind of weak on the map right, here's the thing it, it's like it's, it's really kind it's kind of fucked but the long range are really good at just sitting on their side maybe shooting into mid right but all the short range weapons can fucking destroy you when the walls are painted and they're swimming around the map and you have no clue where they are. I think zones on the map is fine, but I think it's fairly balanced for every weapon for the most part. I don't think anything is inherently just weak. 
Maybe like Splatlings. Splatlings are fucking awful on Moray. That's pretty much it, I think. Moray TC. It's kind of awful. It's okay. It's kind of cheesy, though. I think the only way to push properly on Moray TC is to have their overlook or to just fucking throw a cloud up there and smoke screen it so they can't see, which is unironically a thing that you can do on that map. But I don't think it's that bad simply because of the way that you can hold their snipe, maybe have a guy overlook, or you can have a guy climb up the wall in front of the tower. You can actually do things on this map to push. First checkpoint is asked, that is the problem. The first checkpoint in Zones Mori, and as I TC Mori, is really fucking bad. But once you clear it, and it becomes less shit. You can actually fight on this map. You can actually support the tower rider on this map. Besides the fact that you're getting E leader from spawn. But then the enemy team has an E leader, so like once they fucking lose once, they lose the game. The only way to like defend from base is also a detriment, because once it dies, then you just get fucked up. Rainmaker Mori. I I haven't played it, dude. I can't, <laughs> I can't fucking tell you how Rainmaker Mori plays in comp. I don't know because I don't play it because the map is shadow banned for the most part. But I think it's okay. I think. I don't know though. You can go up snipe, I guess. You get no fucking points. You take overlook and you insta win the game. I don't fucking know. You can do the really cringe thing where you jump from rail to rail. I can't give my opinion on it. I don't play it. I don't know how it works. In my brain though, I probably don't think it's that horrible actually. I don't think it's good. But I would much rather play Moray Rainmaker than play Port Rain, Gobi Rain, Camp Rain, Walleye Rain, Ball Rain. I, I hope I'd probably play Wahoo Rain before it, but like I would much rather play Rainmaker or anything on this stage than any of these stages below it. I don't think it's good, but I think it's better than these things. Moving on. Also, this is like the bottom of C. This is not like top of C, almost B, like every other map in C is going to be above more. I do, I mean. What's next? All right. If you think Schellendorf is down here, you're incorrect. You don't know how to play the game. If you think Shellendorf is worse than any of these maps, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> After pre pre all the changes, Shellendorf is fucking shit. It was awful. But after the reworks, it's just it's kind of different it's not like different here's the thing i use the word different it's not different in the sense of camp where it's like oh my god it's so different but it's still fucking shit it's different but it works except for on clan blitz we're not gonna talk about clan blitz shellendorf because that map is that map mode is fucking dick it's unplayable it is awful the glass doesn't make sense Walking across glass doesn't make sense. When you go below bottom, you just get shot at. When you go left, you have to go through the rail or jump across the block. You just get shot at by the kids camping glass. I think this map needs like a fucking pit treatment where it just doesn't work the same on the other two modes because on it just doesn't work. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I think Zones Schellendorf and TC Schellendorf are pretty fucking good. In my opinion, I think they're pretty fucking good, but Rainmaker and Clams are really fucking bad. Like Clams, like I said before, I think Clams is not properly designed for a lot of the maps in the game, and it's really apparent on Schellendorf. I don't know why Rainmaker, I don't know why Rainmaker is so fucked on it, but like, I think it's okay. It's all right, it's not good. I think if you take the Rainmaker on the glass, you decide that you don't want to win the game anymore. So, like, you just go bottom. Rainmaker Shellendorf is literally you just fighting in front of your spawn. Like, a, like below the block. That's that's it. You just fight there the entire game. It's not, like, it's not much thought put into it. 
you can kind of go top right i guess you can switch directions which is why i think it's better than the ones below it because you have multiple places to push pc shellenorf is really fucking nice i don't know how to describe it because i've played it i've played it so much actually and i think a lot of you have lost it so much like tc dwarf is like the thing i actually look forward to playing and i look forward to watching because like it just i don't know it feels i think it's pretty balanced you can long range is re obviously really fucking good because you just sit on the glass and you just shit on people below you you shit on the flanks because the flank has to walk across the glass but short range or mid or fighting weapons dominate the bottom of the stage and the left side of the stage the second checkpoint is actually something that you have to contest you have to fight for the second checkpoint you don't just get it for free even if you're the long range weapon you don't just shit on the second checkpoint for free you actually have to fight for it you have to engage i think that's probably what i like about the map is that you have to engage to get shit done how many times has pony been timed out <laughs> when pony said shit about wahoo so doomed and that's why i think tc is nice also while you can play like a bitch and just sit on your glass the whole game you can also just walk into the enemy team spawn <laughs> like you can get on the glass control their glass and just hold them in their base so like well i think i like the fact that you can play super defensive and you can also play hyper aggressive to just win the map i like that balance between the maps where it's like you can't just do one thing and that's the only thing that works on the map you can do both both have their own merits both have their own downside that's why i like tc dwarf rainmaker or not rainmaker uh zone shell and dwarf <laughs> i don't know i like it I, I, i'm i'm a fan I'm a fan of just Stone Schellendorf because you have to control the left and right side. You can't just sit. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's the type of thing. I think it has like the Mori thing. Kind of. I don't know what to think of it. It's kind of weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely better than the shit below it. I don't know. I think it's nice that you can push through mid. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, here we go. I, I think I, I think I got it in my head. I got it now. I got it now. Okay. So the general, the general reason that people hate Zone Schellendorf is because of Chargers, right? Because of Chargers, and I guess because of like Hydra and shit sitting on glass, right? People don't like. Dude, the charter's standing on glass. I can't walk into the middle of the stage, man. Like, the charter just shoots me on my glass. It, it just controls the entire stage, right? I right, think about that. But, where the fuck does the charter go besides the top of the stage? Where? What, what, what do they do? They, they stand up there. The long range weapon on Schellendorf has one playable spot. The, the one playable spot is really good, but they can't fucking go anywhere else. They can go to your glass, but you have to lose mid and then lose your side. So you've lost two fights. Once you lose two fights, then you're in a heavy disadvantage. Good, you fucking deserve it. You lost two fights in a row. Now you're in disadvantage. But if you lose one fight, they can't really move up. The short range can, but the charger isn't. Or the long range weapon can. So you can actually retake the side of the stage. Also, you can invalidate the long range entirely if you somehow get the middle of the stage, paint the right side, paint the left side, and then you're just sitting underneath them, and then maybe you push their glass. The Yo, thanks for the fucking uh, gifted sub pony to trumpet. I appreciate it. If you somehow push their side then you can hold it's pretty easy to hold because then the charger has no way to shoot you anymore or the long range has no way to deal with you anymore i think it has options which is why i like it more. that's probably why in my head i can think of ways to describe it but i think it boils down to this stage has options a lot of the stages below it don't have options what's next albacore I think Albuquerque is here. Albuquerque is probably... C tier is going to be fucking big.
I think Albacore is here. Um, Rainmaker Albacore gives you the illusion that you have multi- I think Albacore is going to be fast. I don't think I can- I don't think there's much for me to say. Rainmaker Albacore gives you the illusion that you have multiple paths, but the right side is fucking terrible. Like, you literally don't get points for going there, so you have to go left, or you have to go mid and then walk up the left side, but the problem is that you have to walk up the left. So then you actually, in reality, you have to only go left because then you have to jump across or you just fall onto the grate instead of climbing a block and then walking onto the grate. So one path is actually viable. The other two paths, one path, the left path is viable. The mid path is okay. The right path is fucking shit. TC on this map, I don't fucking know. It's weird. It's a clusterfuck. I haven't played it as much in comp. It's okay. You can fight for your street. You can fight mid. I don't know. It's just, it's very spacious. I don't know how to describe them, man. Dawn's on this map is pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it, because it's not, it's not super favorable to short range, right? But they can do things. They can kind of push. Like, they're, they're okay in the mid. They're okay in the street but they feel awful in the middle of the stage. So what you do is you don't fight in the middle of the stage with like T-Tech and shit, cause then you just lose. Alba, yeah, Alba, like you said, Albacore isn't fun because it's so large. And a lot of the times where you fight, when you're fighting, it's just people spraying each other until they get a special or like, a charter or some shit shooting you cross map it's not fun but i don't think it's like unbalanced here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing. Is it, there's like usually like a divide between oh this map is fun so i like it, or this map is not fun so fuck it don't put it in the map list albacore is not fun but i'll play albacore over any of these things even if it's not fun, because I think it's way more fucking balanced <laughs> than any of the things below it. Ever has a flex kind of like camp? I think so. You kind of... I don't know. Here's the thing. I think you can run four mid-range weapons on fucking Albuquerque and be completely fine. You don't need a long-range weapon on Albuquerque to, like, win the game. Take my team as a fucking example. We don't have a long-range weapon on like, literally any map. And then Clem, dude, okay, okay. Pit's gonna be next, I think. Actually, no, Pit's not, Pit is next. Yeah, Pit is fucking next. Uh, Clam Albacore is literally Clam Pit. But a, but a slightly bit better, I think. <laughs> the Clam version of this map is better than Pit. It's, it's the exact same, you just fucking run back and forth, except you actually have multiple directions to go on this map. You can go left, upside, up left, or you can go fucking mid. It's not just you funneling in from one side. The thing is, though, the other maps, or the other modes, are worse. Actually, dude, I've, I've explained Albacore as like, like I, I think it's like so, like, I don't know, neutral, not neutral. Balance, I guess not balance. I, I don't know how to fucking describe it before. I told you the good sides, I told you the downsides. But now I'm thinking about pit. Because I said pit is next, but Rainmaker Pit is so fucking shit. And I think pit clam is okay. And I don't know where to, I'm gonna end up putting it in B. It's not next. We're not talking about pit next. We're talking about fucking um I don't know. I'm looking at the maps that we have left, I'm talking about skipper. It has to be skipper. There's no way it's not skipper. I low-key want to put skipper bottom of B. When I'm looking at the maps that I have left, I'm looking at the maps that I have left, and I can't really say that they're like same level as these. It's actually Mori is throwing me off. I think Mori needs its own tier. <laughs> I think I need a tier for Mori that's literally just between C and D, so I can justify to myself putting like 
Skipper in the same spot as Moray because I can't like physically see Skipper being the same as Moray. <laughs> but like we'll move on anyway. Um, Skipper zones. Skipper zones is pretty pretty alright. Skipper Zones is pretty odd. I don't know. It's it's weird. Okay, Skipper Zones is a map. Never. Excuse me. This is why people don't like Skipper Zones. Skipper Zones requires you to know when and how to rotate properly, right? But people don't want that. It, it's kind of like Albacore in the sense that it is not fun. It's inherently not really a fun map, but that doesn't make it a bad map. It teaches you how to rotate, and if you don't rotate properly, you're stuck four side bottom and you're getting sprayed by fucking everything above you. Or you're stuck four side top and you're getting fucking sprayed and you can't enter the bottom of the stage because you have to flank and you have to drop down and you get shot at, or you run through mid and everyone just fucking looks at you and kills you. It teaches you... Wait, 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 I just had a fucking epiphany. Skipper zones is just camp zones, but not fucking shit. You have to split and you have to rotate, but you can actually help both sides of the map. It's literally that map, but it's better. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> That is actual facts. Don't agree with it. Alright, don't disagree with it. I won't take your opinion into consideration. <laughs> but like, it teaches you how to split and to rotate properly, except you can actually go back to the other side and help the other side. As in the other side of the you swim to the top of the stage. Or you jump out. It's, it's all modes, it's not just zones. That's why, if it was only zones, then this would probably be way higher and it wouldn't be in fucking F because the other modes on this map are fucking unplayable. This map as in Wapen. So that's why Skipper is, I put Skipper here. The zones, pretty nice. It teaches you how to rotate properly, it teaches you how to hold. I don't think anything's inherently busted on this map. It, it, it's C because the zones is really fucking good, I think. The clam, or not clam, Rainmaker Skipper is fucking dick. <laughs> Rainmaker Skipper is one of those maps where like the defense is way too easy and the pushing is way too hard, so the it, you just end up not doing anything. The spawn for the Rainmaker being all the way bottom, you win the fight or you lose the fight. You actually don't even fight bottom side of the map. Like, that place is a fucking death pit. You, like, fight, like, near the top and in the mid. But, like, the Rainmaker, where the Rainmaker spawns, so shit, because when you spawn, grab the rain, you're instantly below everything. That's why it's so bad. It's because you're instantly below everything, so you have to shoot the Rainmaker into the air while you're getting bomb spammed from fucking high ground or just getting sprayed from high ground or getting raid. It's you don't have that many places to go when you're getting like raid or just getting bomb spammed on this map because it's it's it gives the illusion that it's big because the map is long, but it's it's just still not that spacious besides in the mid. Right? That's why Rainmaker is pretty bad also there's really only one path like you can go bottom side yes i mean you could you could bottom side is a normal path you can go top and jump across but like no one's letting you jump across the map you're just going to get shot at also what's up alexi how are you um pc on this map is kind of awkward it has the same problem as rainmaker except you have to how does Skipper teach you how to rotate? Skipper Zones teaches you how to rotate. Skipper TC also teaches you how to rotate. Because if you don't rotate properly on Skipper, you're going to have four people on one side. If you have four people on one side, then you open yourself up to getting pincered, or you just you just get stalled. If you sit four people on one side, and you're in disadvantage, you're just going to get stalled. So if you don't rotate properly, you lose the map. It's not fun. That's why people don't like it. Because you just instantly lose the game if you do it wrong. Because if you play TC on this map and you sit for a bottom, you're just gonna have a guy go through mid, maybe guy go through mid. He doesn't even have to. You just sit top side with the team just defending. 
you have to put people on the tower. You have to get a guy up to the top right using a special, probably. Probably a jetpack, probably a cloud. Or a cloud. And you have one guy mid watching the flank, and then that guy flanks after he kills the flank or if he, when he gets an opening. And then you have people pushing in from the left, pushing in from the top right, maybe a jetpack, one guy on tower, and then one guy probably hoping the tower to push on TC. That's why I think TC is okay. It's not great because you're still fighting permanent high ground, but it's okay. The fact that the, the right side plat is a bit too high, in my opinion, for me to like favor it so much, but like, because the defense is kind of a bit too easy because you're just shooting people from above and they can't really do a lot about it. But hear me out. I love me some skipper clams. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love me some skipper clams. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie to you. I love me some skipper clams. And here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Listen to this, listen to this. I've been talking about, my, my entire philosophy as I've gone on has been talking about uh, like the balance, or like the balance of like the weapons and what you can do on each map with each weapon and like what, how many options you have, right? You have a lot of fucking options on skipper clamps. Think about this. Think about this. You have options on skipper clamps. You may not know that you have options on skipper clamps, but this is why I'm telling it to you and you're not telling it to me because I'm good at the game and I can explain to you these things. All right, listen. All right, listen. You spawn into skipper clam, skipper clam, right? There are clams fucking everywhere. The clam spawns on this map are pretty fucking good. There are spawns in your top plat, there are spawns in your bottom plat. I think there's like a singular spawn near the shrine, I don't remember, I'm pretty sure there is. There's a spawn in mid, and then obviously there's those spawns on the enemy side of the map, right? So the, the clam spawns are spaced out, but they are plentiful. You have places to get clams, yes, correct. You also have this one right below the basket. That spawn is pretty shit. I don't know why that spawn is there. That should probably be somewhere else, but we'll move on from that. You also have options. You can push on this map without just forcing your way in with a tent shield or a bubble. You can use an assortment of different specials. You could armor push to to split from top and bottom side and you can pincer them and then if, the guy, if a guy's defending far top, fuck him, ignore him, go fast. Just go fast and score. You can armor push, you can bubble push in from top, you can bubble push in from bottom, you can cloud and move them off of their side, you can jetpack from mid and shoot into their plat, you can assist your teammates in the different sides of the map without fucking giving your life to the cause by being a tent that just walks into the middle or walks into their spawn and forces their way in. Also, like I'm saying with all these different specials, all these different specials probably mean different weapons, correct? Yes. Different weapons are good on skipper. It's not just long range. When I see skipper, when I see people pick skipper clams, which is not very fucking often because it's not in the map because people think it's shit. I see, I instantly see, we play ballpoint, we play charger, or not like, not the same comp, ballpoint, charger, CDS, H3, we're playing all these long mid-range weapons, okay, cool, who's fucking fighting? <laughs> who's fighting? This is why I think people think this map is shit, because they just sit, they only sit on their side of the map, but like, you, you fight in the middle. Like the, the mid and like the near the top side is like all about fighting because you fight that and you control that and then once you control that it puts pressure on the guys top near their spawn to be like holy fuck we have to fucking defend this we have to defend this ramp right and they start hard defending the ramp and then you have people rotating in through bottom you score from bottom the times guys are like holy fuck the guys are scoring from bottom now we have to move and control bottom and the guys from top just walk in 
you have to know how to rotate properly to defend the pussies properly or you just fucking lose also like i said you have options to actually assist your teammates this is fucking five head giga brain because people don't fucking do this and i don't know why pick up the clams and throw them to your fucking teammates man you can actually pick up clams in mid and throw them to your teammates across the map on their side when they're scoring you can help your teammates score you don't have to walk back in. you don't have to score leave their base and then you have no control anymore and they just retake you can throw clams to your teammates to help them score and then once you, okay think about this you finish scoring right let's say you open the basket you push to 60 cool you now you start disengaging because you need to score because you don't want to wipe right you start disengaging the guys from top size disengage because they don't want to be in front of the enemy team spawn while they're spawning in and they're fighting them for the basket right so the guys from the top side disengage and the clams has respawned in mid and under your basket you can get there pretty fucking fast when you're disengaging you get those clams and instead of brute forcing your way through the top side of the map again after the people have respawned and are just shooting you like from high ground instead you throw clams to the guys on their plat because they're fighting from their plat because they have room to fight from plat and they're not just getting shot from spawn you throw clams there and then your teammates will throw in those clams and it's like oh shit they're still scoring we have to drop we have to fight them we have to put pressure on these guys on our plat and move them out meanwhile then you push in from the top side and create another pin suit because of that it teaches you what spots to look at and what spots to fight properly or else you will just get fucking destroyed as you they just instantly clam or instantly throw all the clams in from passing them from mid or if you do it wrong you'll push in from top side and you'll just get fucked from the guys from spawn and then the defending team will shoot the guys on their plat and they'll take the numbers fight and then you'll lose that's why i think skipper clams is good it requires you to be intelligent unfortunately a lot of people are not intelligent so they don't like the map so that's my tirade on skipper clams i need water now Why is Sturgeon Shipyard in S tier? Alright. You said that Sturgeon... Alright. I already talked about fucking Sturgeon, but... You, you said why is it in S tier, right? And you said the Rainmaker map is the worst Rainmaker map in the game. Have you considered walking in the other direction? When you're going left... When you're going left on this stage and people are throwing fucking mist and spamming the fuck out of you top left and you're getting raided and you're getting bomb spammed you're like dude we can't push past fucking 70 man we're just dying on the block man what do we do man have you considered going to the right and climbing the block or going to the right and walking up the ramp or going to the right or going to the going mid sitting on this you can put the rainmaker on their snipe and shoot into their top left the Rainmaker can clear the top left spot. You, the Rainmaker doesn't have to be the first guy in. That's why people fucking hate Rainmaker Skipper or Rainmaker fucking uh, Snapper because the, they just send the Rainmaker in. He's fucking, all right, guys, we grabbed it. Let's go top left. Oh, shit, I got shot, man. I, damn, our push got stalled. No shit, dude. You just fucking died. But, uh, yeah. And the other three maps on that, the other three modes on that map are fucking insanely good. That one just has the problem of left, but you can also just go the other direction, so that's why it's S tier. But uh, we're going to the next map. Routes tied to a timer? Yeah, that's why. That's what I'm talking about. Or, routes tied to a timer as well. That's why that map is shit. What's next? See, my heart wants to put Muscle Forge in B, by the way. Muscle Forge is not B. Actually, all right, let me think about this. We're thinking about this. Hold up. Because, all right, 
spoiler alert, the rest of the maps are either B or A. I don't think any of these are C. Like, it's, I think it's debatable. One of these can be C. Rainmaker or almost, almost. One of these can be C, I think, maybe. But the rest of these maps are B or A. This is B. This is the start of B. I'm thinking about this map on the other modes and I'm like considering maybe putting it in C, but I'm gonna put it in B. All right, Muscle Forge is bottom of B. Yes, yeah, okay. Muscle Forge at F, please, you're tripping. All right, here's the thing. I'm gonna explain to you why Muscle Forge is not down there because I, again, people don't understand though. All right, here we go. Muscle Forge is B. Clam Muscle is Horde, who told you that? When have you played Clam Muscle in a competitive environment? Muda Chasso doesn't extrude the chases. I really can't, unfortunately. I, I don't think I can. I can move it. I can maybe move to the right. Oh, yeah, I can move to the right. Hold on. Can I? I unbind it. Unlock. Move to the right. Alright, cool. Make the background dark? I don't think I can. Can you? Can you make the background dark on this website? Oh, no. That's the background color of the two, is it not? That's the two. No, I don't think you can. I'm lucky. Some third party dark mode? Yeah, but that's gonna take a while. And I've already, like, halfway through the fucking list, so. Okay, let's start talking about Muscle Forge. We'll put it in the middle, obviously. Wait, I unironically could fucking put it in the middle of the thing, but it'll start covering stage names anyway. Muscle Forge. We're going to start off by talking about zones because we always start off talking about zones because we all play this map anyway. Muscle Zones. <laughs> so again, all of these maps here are at the top because the extreme amount of weapon variants that can work on them because of the multitude of options that you have on these maps for retaking, for pushing, for holding, for just picking shit in general. You have so many options, so many things are balanced, so many things work, right? And not just inherently shit like some of these maps, right? Also, Forge is kind of in the middle of that. Obviously not perfectly in the middle, because it's not a C, it's a B. A little, a little higher, but... Okay, let's talk about Zones Muscle Forge. What do people not like about Zones Muscle Forge, right? What do they not like? They don't like getting shot in their spawn. Correct? People don't like getting shot in their spawn, and people don't like getting camped in the trench. Actually, people don't even fucking complain about the trench. People complain about getting shot in their spawn. Okay. People complain about getting shot in their spawn, or shot in the middle of the stage on Muscle Force. It feels like you're holding the map, and you just instantly die on mid, right? Or instantly die in your spawn. Have you considered that Muscle Force has trenches where you can sit in the trench and the enemy team's charger has a zero percent chance of hitting you or the enemy team's splatling has a zero percent chance of hitting you because they literally cannot shoot at you they can't hit you when you're in trench when you're pushing into muscle forge you need people don't fucking abuse the trench on muscle forge they don't fight from the trench they fight from their plats and they get, they literally get missile spam, bomb spam, charger spam. People are throwing burst bombs, raps are fucking jump shooting me in my fucking play. Here's the thing. When you play Muscle Forge, you do not retake from your plat. You retake from your spawn and you move into your trench and then you go to the middle of the stage. You do not fucking sit on your plat. And you don't sit on your plat unless you're fighting over mid. When you're retaking, your plat is not your area. You can't fight that. I need to open a PB. I have to, I have to do what I did with Wahoo, and I have to visibly show this. I need a singular person to join a PB. Hold on. Wrong, wrong fucking uh, screen. We need another demo time for this map.
We need we need demo time. People don't get this stage. I don't know why. Okay. We need a we need a demo time. Um, somebody pick Charter. On the enemy team, enemy guys, one of you pick Charter, and one of you pick Roller. Pick Charter and pick Roller. This is a demo time. Demo time. I'm gonna show you how to retake on this map properly and why the reason you're probably doing it is wrong and this is probably why you don't like the map. <clears throat> Alright, so the middle the middle fight on this stage, everyone knows what the middle fight on this stage is like. They, the charger fucking stands on their snipe. The other guys start fighting mid, one guy gets armor. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Will Sun Mayan? I don't know how to say your name. I think that's how. But thanks for following, I appreciate it. Everyone knows how this thing starts. It's hard to sting on snipe. The rollers are fucking like infinite and shit. Everyone starts fighting over his own. Say, for example, I lose the mid fight. My team loses the mid fight, right? My team loses the mid fight. Bad. And then we have to retake our spot, our clap, alright? Charger, walk up to mid grade. Walk up like here, Charger. Walk up to like here and then start like aiming at my spawn. He doesn't know. He doesn't hear me. I love you. Alright, say the charger is like in mid, right? Charger's looking at my mid. Obviously, I don't fucking drop here. If the charger's in mid, why would I come here? The charger has full sight over my entire plat, correct? So you don't come here. And you sure as fuck don't go down here. Because when you go here, then you just get bomb spammed. Maybe with the roller or roller or try or fucking bucket, anything short range is just shooting this constantly. The charger is standing on fucking top. Some guy's probably striking right. And then the other guy sitting on top mid just throwing bombs doing this the whole time. So why the fuck would you drop left plat? See, what you're supposed to do is maybe you come here. Because when you're here, the charger can't hit you. You're behind the block, you can drop here, you can play around this area. And getting bomb spam here, you can still avoid it. You, obviously, you don't want to be there, but like, the furthest up spot you can be, is there. Don't go anywhere further, don't go to the right at all. So you build specials from your spawn. You throw shit from your spawn. You can come here and retake from this. People don't understand, this sponge? is so important to the zone's retake. When this sponge is inflated, you have so much more room to work with. You want this sponge to be as big as possible because it gives you move to, room, to like swim around. You can see into the zone. Normally, you can't fucking see anything. But if you get on top of this, now you can see top zone, you can see bottom left, you can see some of the right side. You have so much vision over the map. You can also just throw shit into zone. Once you have the sponge, you can start pressuring these guys. Once you have your sponge, you have your left trench, or you should, then you can start moving into your trench, you pop on the wall, and you can start fighting for zone. You need to fight from trench. Who followed? Yo, Marvis, I think. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. A lot of, a lot of maps in Splatoon are like, when you're on low ground, you're really fucking disadvantaged. What if someone is next to the sponge? All right, when someone is next to this sponge, you, ju you just hit fucking R. The guy dies. They have to move. You want to fight from your trench as much as possible because the enemy team can't just dive into your trench and fight you. And if one guy dives into the trench, he's going to get fucking shot at by everyone. So you fight from trench and then you fight into the middle of the stage. So like I said, you, like once you, once you fight from trench then you get mid, you don't fight from this area. Maybe you fight from your snipe. It's the only viable play area, I think, on the snipe. If you go like here, you will fucking die. You will get spammed by everything. 
So once you move into mid, how do you hold? How do you stop the... Oh damn, the charger is just shooting me from fucking mid and I'm dying in the mid. Well, you see, if the charger is shooting or sitting there and shooting you here, what if? Now think about it. What if? What if you were here instead? What does the charger do? What did I say the enemy team has to do to retake the map? They have to get the sponge. They want to get their trench, right? So if the enemy team wants their trench, you don't want to give them their trench. So then you sit in their trench and you fight for their trench. The trenches are really fucking important on this stage. You, you sit down here, you pressure the snipe. This is why you can't fucking retake from snipe. You have to throw shit on snipe. So then the enemy team does the same thing that you did. They come here, they retake, they try to get you out of here. They try to get you out of their snipe and then they start dropping. It's just a big fight for the bottom of the map. Because once the, you take the bottom, then you can take the top properly. A couple of guys will walk over the grates. Like, you start walking over this grate after you stop getting fucking spammed. The guy bottom left has to put pressure on the left side of the map. So people can be like, oh shit, they're gonna start a retake. Then we gotta start looking left. And then people start dropping on their plat. Then people start dropping right. Then people start walking over mid. Because once you put enough fucking emphasis on the fact that, oh shit, I, this guy's coming in from left side. It takes attention from the enemy team, lets your team start moving in right, start moving in mid. And that's how you retake Muscle Forge, and that's how you hold Muscle Forge. It's not just you dying in your ball and your fucking bond, in your spawn to a fucking E-leader. I mean the E-leader will shoot you in your spawn, but just sit behind the wall. Sit behind wall, sit in the trench, they shoot in a straight line, they can't fucking kill you. So that's how you play that map. Do I need another demo? I don't think I so. I don't think so. Back to the list. That's how you play Zones Muscle Wars. I didn't need to get that out there because a lot of people don't like that map. I like that mode. Map mode. Alright, now. Okay. I'm not even gonna fucking front with you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put up a, a front. I'm not gonna lie. Muscle Forge Rainmaker is fucking dog shit. <laughs> that map is really bad. There is no, there are no unique or like good qualities to that map. It's fucking terrible. Again, like what what map did I say? Gave you the illusion. Okay, it's like Albacore. I mean, it's not like Albacore in the the fucking sense that you don't fucking score anything. It's like Albacore in the sense that it gives you the illusion. That you have multiple paths, but you do not have multiple paths. You can only go right. You cannot go left. To go left, the enemy team has to be fully dead. Which is like, cool, I guess, unlucky. If the enemy team is fully dead, then you can just fucking do anything. You have one path. Left side is fucking terrible. You have to walk over great. Then you have to go into the rail. People are going... You don't get the points from rail unless you land. People will just shoot you. So you have to go right, and right is a fucking ramp. <laughs> How to put to push properly? You have to put people on right side, and you have to got, have a guy flank their snipe and put pressure on the snipe. But some guy's probably sitting on snipe and just shooting down at you. So that's how you push there. It's not fucking great. It's really fucking bad because it's so it's so heavily in favor of the defense when you're straight up below them. But if they die ever at all, there is no like second layer of defense of where to go and where to back up. You just instantly lose the fucking game. It's way too swingy, way too fucking snowbally. It's fucking horrible. You're like the, the only way you can kind of mix it up is if when you go right and you go up the ramp, maybe you climb up the wall to the right instead of going directly to the pedestal. But like, who fucking cares? It, you're not going to get to that point anyway unless you're knocking out the game because you're going to get constant fucking bomb spam the whole time. Rainmaker and muscle support is fucking horrid. I'm going to save the one I want to talk about for last. Um, TC, or not TC, I'm talking about that one last. Clam Blitz Muscle Forge. People, again, they don't like this map. A lot of people, I mean, I have read, we read it in the chat earlier. We said it's fucking, it's shit, it's terrible. Why? Why, why is Rain, why is Clam Muscle Forge bad? Explain to me why Clam Muscle Forge is bad. Oh, Keo, it's just like fucking Gobi, man. You have to fucking, it's, it's literally just like Gobi. You have to walk in through the mid, and then the only way you have to go is a right flank. Like, you said Gobi was bad, why is Muscle Forge any different? 
Muscle Forge, you can swim. The, the, the right side, you can swim into. You can push the right side with specials and actually push the right side of the map because you're not walking on a fucking tarp. You put specials, you press it, you, you do exactly the same shit you do in zones. Think about this. The way that I said how to play zones muscle force is the exact same way that you play clams, except when you take the sponge, you walk into their side. Instead of just sitting on the sponge, you start to walk up the ramp. You take the plat the exact same way, you throw shit on the plat, bubbles through greats are right, that too. You can actually force shit, like, uh, bubbles are always gonna be fucking good on clams because it helps you force. You use specials, you walk across the mid, you walk across the mid either armored, with missiles going off, with bombs on their plat, or with bubbles. You can get across the mid, but you have to be putting pressure on from the right side, or else they're just going to shoot at their fucking plat. If you don't put pressure on from the right side, you're funneling four people through a fucking grate, and you're going to die on the grate. So while it gives Muscle Forge Clam actually has two paths. It doesn't give you the illusion that you have two paths. You can go two different directions. It's just that people don't utilize the right side unless they're a fucking solo queue ink brush moving into the fucking this going straight to the basket. You can actually split push on that map. The ink brushes are teaching you something. They're doing it completely wrong. But they're showing you that you can actually split. Now, <laughs> TC Muscle Forge, my GOAT map, Heal Land, the best stage in the game. No, I'm trolling. It's not that great. But, like, all right, hear me out. Listen. TC Muscle Forge, why do people hate it? Why Why is it that when FT Win picks TC Muscle Forge in fucking anything, people are like, holy shit, this map is fucking dog shit? Why? Because everyone has a fucking charger player. No shit. It's the exact same. The reason that people don't like Muscle Forge is fucking hyper amplified on TC compared to every other mode. Why? Because TC Muscle Forge forces you to play in the trench. You have to play that. You should play in the trench on every Muscle Forge stage. But TC Muscle Forge forces you to play in the trench and because no one fucking knows how to play the map properly no one fucking plays in the trench and if no one plays in the trench and the tower goes through trench holy shit dude they're just pushing the fucking 20 for free how do, what do we do you fight for the fucking trench you, you play the trench that's how you play the map tc muscle forge requires you to split push again you, you fight, you have one guy in mid. You have one guy in mid, watching your mid side, watching your mid, sitting above the tower. One guy bottom left, sitting bottom left, pressuring the left plat, maybe going for a uh, flank on the left. One guy bottom right, bottom right, shooting shit at the snipe, pressuring the snipe, pressuring the flank from their base. You split, four guys across the map, one mid, one right, one left, one tower. How do you defend that? The tower guy can't fight, so inherently you have a numbers advantage. When the tower guy is on tower, he's super omega low ground. He can't do shit, right? So you have a four man number, or you have a one man up numbers advantage, right? So that means you can take a 2v1. Where do you want to take that 2v1? You can take the 2v1 on the guy on the right flank. You can't take the 2v1 on the guy on mid. You're gonna have to walk across the grates. You're gonna get fucking shot at by everyone on the enemy team. You can take the 2v1 on the guy trying to flank your spawn. You split, you take numbers, you start to retake your plat, you retake, you retake your plat. You can actually walk into your plat on this stage with multiple people. You just have to go with numbers. If you're not going with numbers, you're gonna fucking die. The reason why people don't like the stage and why we pick it is because everyone has a fucking charger and charger can't fucking do that. You cannot split up and have a numbers fight when you have a charger on your team because the charger has to be fucking behind everyone. If the charger is behind everyone, then everything turns into a 1v1 on the split side of the map. You have to 1v1 the guy flank, you have to 1v1 the guy you're spawned, you have to 1v1 the guy mid. The guy on tower doesn't deal with anything because the charger can't hit the tower. If the charger can't hit the tower, everyone's in the 1v1 and the, the guy on the tower can actually just like 
help the fight mid or help the fight left because he can help from those sides. What about Bamboo? Bamboo's better. Bamboo can move. Bamboo can move up and like take shots with his teammates. The reason that people don't want to play this map is because every team has a charger and charger's inherent. Charger's weaknesses are amplified on this map. It's the same way if the charger rides a tower, the charger rides a tower and they can't fucking hit anything because the charger goes to the trench. On offense, when you're pushing, here's the thing. When you're pushing, then the charger can sit top mid. It can actually do things. It's fucking terrible on defense. It's awful. But the charger can be the mid guy and sit and watch the entire mid play. The thing is, it's so inherently fucking awful on defense that you literally never get to that part of the, that point in the game half the time. When you're the charger team, you just get fucking capped the entire time because you can't help your team retake unless you like go fucking bottom or some shit. I mean, like, I guess the charger can go on the bottom side and try to fight, but I don't know. I'm not a charger player. Not my fucking job to figure out until you gotta play your dick ass weapon. So like, th that's the thing. You have to get fucking creative, man. You can't just sit in your spawn for the whole game. Uh, well. Uh, I know, like, it's kind of weird that you can't just sit in base. That's why, that's how you play fucking Muscle TC. That's why Muscle TC has options to do those things. Muscle TC isn't the same as every other TC map where you can just sit in your spawn and I have infinite range over the tower and shooting him from base and that will now pop like Stingray. Oh, it's kind of different. I kind of have to fight now a little bit. So, that's Muscle TC. That's why I think it's good. That's what you, that's how you play the map. Moving on from Muscle Forge. <laughs> Good typo, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Moving on from Muscle Forge. What, what's next? What's my, a lot of these maps are gonna be B, I think. Really. These are gonna be pretty fast, I think, because uh, these maps are pretty easy to explain. I'm putting Pit here. <laughs> because. Hydrate? Yeah, I did that. I'm fucking thirsty. I'm putting Pit here. Above Muscle Forge? Yeah, for sure. Pit deserves A. I'm gonna tell you why Pit should not be in it. Give me a second. Here's why Pit should not be it. A. a minimum? I, it, it's not gonna be. I'm putting it here. Like I'm putting it next to Muscle Forge, but like if I put something else in B, it's gonna be a bubble problem. Zones on Pit is. It's very different from how it was in the first game. So I initially fucking hated it. I did not like it. Ends with both teams at 50. I think it does. A lot of the times because Explo is so fucking powerful on the map, and so it's like tent and shit, the stalling. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what. Hold on. SZ pit. It's pretty good. It's kinda stally. It's really fucking stally, but so is zones as a mode. Zones pit is just stally in general. Right? And we all know how to play it. You hold the left, you hold up right there, you hold mid, you hold right, maybe you have a guy on the far right. Hold the zones, pressure their top side with bombs, maybe you have a charger, I guess, sitting on the conveyor, shooting into their spawn. Right? And it, it's, it's really fucking stally if you don't get a full hold. When you get a full hold on this map, you get a lot of fucking points out of it. Here's the thing, that's why I'm okay with it. Is the game ends at 50, if no team can, like, do anything. But, if you are good enough and able to get strong, like, fucking push and maybe even a wipe you will get a massive fuck ton of points because retaking requires you to retake from like three different fucking parts of the stage so you actually get rewarded for the effort you put in to clear out everyone on the stage that's why i'm okay with these fucking zones and you actually have options like you can go left you can go mid you can go right the entire map is open so you don't have to just funnel in from one spot right so that's why I'm okay with it. I'm fine with that. He's pretty good. TC Pit. The only thing holding back TC Pit is that checkpoint under the snipe is way too fucking long. <laughs> the checkpoint under the snipe is awful. <laughs> 
Tech 3? No, Tech 3 is the one under the base. Is it not? What does that have four tech points? I don't fucking remember. But like, the tech point under the snipe is way too long, and you literally just get spammed from snipe. That's it. You just get spammed from snipe by chargers, by fucking rapids, by bombs, by anything. You don't have to hold the left side because those points don't fucking matter. Every team is going to pass the left side. The winning team is usually the team that gets past the side. But then after that, the map is pretty alright. The one, the checkpoint like under the mid like conveyor is like, it, it's in favor of the attackers rather than the defending team because like, you know, it's way too far from the defense. So like, it's kind of your reward for passing the check under snipe. Now you get like a checkpoint kind of for free. It's kind of easier to pass, right? But you have, the defense has a lot of room to start moving in from the right, start taking space on their snipe now because they don't have to like shoot you directly under the check. So then you can defend after that. Massive fuck ton of time to defend left, less time to defend mid, and then when the tower is moving off the right, you can defend that. So it's it's pretty all right. I think TC pit's pretty good. Besides that one checkpoint, unlucky. Rainmaker pit is fucking dog shit. It's ass. It's horrid. There is no redeeming quality to the rainmaker pit. The conveyors on that are like I can't even fucking describe it because there's too many different conveyors. The conveyors in mid don't matter. You're playing American football. <laughs> You're playing American football in Splatoon. Rainmaker Pit is fucking Seajet Paradise. It's Stingray Paradise. You can't do anything. You get bomb spammed the entire middle of the stage. When you're trying to push up the fucking conveyors, you just get fucking bomb spammed into their spawn. When you actually, if somehow, somehow, some way, someone pushes past 40 on this map, you're winning the game unless you somehow decide that you want to lose. The map is actually literally just flawed. There is, there's no split path. If you go far left, you're going to lose the game and get camped. You're going to get hit with a bomb and the Rainmaker is going to be stuck there for the rest of the match. You can't go left. You have to go right. You have to go up one of the conveyors. The one going down, which is going to slow you down, or the one going up, which is closer to their spawn, so you're not going to get there. The map is a straight line. That's why it's pretty bad. It's simply because it's a straight fucking line. It's simply just not good. It doesn't work. It's even hard to get past the mid because people just shoot you from their top left or from their spawn. So that's why the, the, yeah, the Rainmaker on this map is horrid. The TC on this map is alright. It's pretty good. Alright. The zones on this map is pretty good. Alright. The Clam Blitz on this map. I think Clam Pit is, like I said, I said it earlier. Clam Pit is a shit version of Albacore Clams. It's just worse. They play the exact same. It's it's literally a straight line map, right? You're fighting for the middle of the stage. You fight for the stage like you fight for zone. Except when you die on this stage, you're fucked. When you die on Clam Pit, versus a good team, you are locked out of your spawn for the remainder of the game. You are getting, you are giving the enemy team so many points. Because you have to retake. How do you retake? I think about this, think about this. All right, here's, here's a distinction between clam pit and zone pit, right? Zone pit is good because, all right, think about this. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna make it really simple for you. Why is Zones Pit good? Why is it okay to retake? Demo? I don't think I need a demo for this. This one, this one will just work in your head. Why is Zones Pit good? Because the, the Zones Pit, you have the zone under your side and the zone under their side, right? Split zones, two zones. You have to control both sides, which means you got to control the entirety of the stage, right? They camp the left side, you just go right. They camp the right side, you just go left. You throw shit into the stage, you can stall, right? Spoon feed you, nah, somebody get her up. That's how you control the zones. You have space to move around, you have options because the entire map needs to be controlled for the enemy team to score, right? Why is 
Clam Pit fucking terrible. Well, you see, in Clam Pit to score, you don't need to control the middle of the stage. I mean, you have to control the middle of the stage to go back and get fucking clams, but the, if someone goes right on Clam Pit when the enemy team is scoring, they're literally on the opposite side of the fucking map. You can't just drop your left side because instead of there being one guy there, there are four people there throwing in clams. So if you drop, you fucking explode. They will instantly kill you. If you go to your spawn conveyor, those guys will turn around and shoot you. They will instantly kill you. There are so many people congested in one part of the map that it's so hard to retake unless you, you have to send multiple people your top side and just throw bombs. You literally have to throw bombs at them to get you out of get them out of your left side. But like to throw bombs to get them out of your left, you just they will still score. They'll have time to score. Maybe you get a few kills. Maybe some guy gets caught out. But if they don't get caught out, they're gonna score. They're gonna go back into mid. And then you start playing it like it's zones again. They're gonna get a massive fuck ton of points because the clam spawns on that map are literally under basket. There's clam spawns under basket, next to the basket right behind you on the conveyor one fucking in your spawn which is unlucky oh yeah the clam spawns on that map are fucking dick because the clams are either either spawned to where you can insta knock out the game or they're in your base on your snipe or fucking next to your snipe on the right side to where there was two clam spawns being taken up one on their side one on your side those are eight clams that you cannot fucking access unless you die or jump back so you have to get those clams out of spawn first or hope that they don't spawn there during your push or unlucky man i guess you just won't get those fucking clams i guess or they're gonna be on your side of the map under your basket so you, you either cannot extend you can't extend at all or you just instantly fucking get a fuck ton of points you have to just rely on the spawns get lucky i guess so combined with the fact that i think the spawns are fucking shit and i think pushing on that map is like oh fuck the enemy team what are they gonna do you're just fucking locked out that's why i don't like the stage and that's why I put it in B, because the zone is good, the clam, or the zone is good, the TC is good, the Rainmaker is probably the worst Rainmaker stage in the fucking game. Besides, like, these, because they're just fucking horrid. Worse than all of these. Rainmaker is fucking terrible, and the clam, like I said, awful. Yeah, that's like, you have to take the clam, or like, you're just fucked, unlucky. But that's pit. Moving on to, I think Snapper has to be. I, I can't see a world in which I put any of these maps below Snapper. So I'm gonna put Snapper. Put it above pit or below pit. I'm gonna put Snapper above pit because Snapper Clam is pretty alright. I need more water. Holy fuck. How do spawns work for clams? I don't remember the exact timing. I actually don't remember the exact timing. But there are spots on the map where clams will spawn and they were guaranteed. So at the start of the map, clams are just fucking scattered around the map, right? How long have I been doing this for? An hour and... Or two hours, actually. But at the start of the game, is it like 10 seconds? I think it might be a bit longer. But at the start of the map, clams are spawned around everywhere on the stage. And then there's like spots where clams... Four or a pot of four clams will spawn and those are consistent throughout the map i don't remember how i think there's more for some stages maybe less for some but like they're gonna be spots on the map where the clams spawn and if clams are spawned there and you don't pick them up they're, they're gonna stay there the entire time so like i said the problem on pit is that eight clams spawn in your spawn or spawn in your base there's four on your snipe and there's four to the right of your snipe if you don't pick those up they will stay there the entire game and they will if they'll stay there the entire game, they won't spawn anywhere else on the map. This means you can't pick up clams from anywhere else on the map. So that means you have to go back to your spawn. Either you have to die or you have to jump back and pick up those clams for clams to spawn somewhere else. Can I make a whole video on how to manipulate the clams? <clears throat> it's pretty simple. You literally just pick up the ones in your spawn so they spawn in the middle of the map so you can actually get spawns in the middle of the stage when you're pushing. That's it. I mean, like, there's a nuance to, oh, if I pick these up, then maybe they will spawn somewhere else. So, like, 
the the entire thing is like pick out the ones in your base pick out the ones in your base when you're pushing because then they'll spawn in the middle and when you're defending you want to leave the ones in your base because that means they'll spawn on the enemy side in their base so that means they can't get clamps when they're pushing your basket on defense you don't pick them up on offense you pick them up that's that's pretty much it but on to snapper snapper zones <clears throat> i don't like it i don't like it because my weapons aren't good there i don't think it's bad i think snapper zones is pretty good i think snapper zones is one of those things that it it kind of acts like and it's not the same as camp but it acts like camp in the way that you need to be split and defend the different sides like you have to hold left you have to hold right you probably want a guy in your street you could maybe have a guy on the flank you split i think weapons are pretty like good there like um there's a different assortment of weapons like you can play short range weapons on that map you can just like hide and fucking you can hide and sit on the top right and hide and sit like in the zone like on the fucking block you can have your charger posted in your spawn the entire game and then have him move up to the middle of the stage maybe have him watch left it's pretty good there this everything can do something there chargers can stare at you from across the entire fucking stage short range weapons can just fucking camp underneath something and you can't fucking go there anymore i think it's pretty balanced in that sense that it's good for everything i like the fact that it has flanks you're not just sitting sending four people through mid you can go right you can go you can go right and climb the wall you can go far right and build special far right you can go left left is kind of hard to go to because you have to walk over a tarp which is as i explained earlier when you have to walk over something the map becomes worse in that area because you just get shot at but like you have options on that map literally the exact same thing as plies the clams the rail on clams make them makes the map a bit better because you can actually score i like the map on them it's not it, snapper is one of those examples of a map where i think it's it's pretty good right but it's not necessarily fun because you can't just fucking unga bunga fight everything like you have to like do things coordinated or else you just get shit on because it's a straight line kind of you just you just die sound like such a gamer <laughs> i mean i would assume so but like you have to like fucking push different sides you have to push with specials or you're fucked and you just die y and b though i'm gonna get to that so why is it in b i don't like the tc i think tc on this map is pretty bad I'm not gonna lie i think tc on the map is bad i think the checkpoint the checkpoint in mid makes it shit because the, the checkpoint in mid it just lasts for too long it just keeps you in mid and then people just spam you from snipe people spam you from snipe in general because the tower is like super low ground it moves to a checkpoint that is also super fucking low ground and then it moves left to another checkpoint that is also super fucking low ground and it also moves over the water i don't like the tower pathing on that map that's really that's the reason i don't like the map what, what i think makes snapper good is the fact that you have to split up the map you can go both sides and you have to control the entire stage but what i don't like about tc is that now you don't have to control the entire stage now you just send multiple people on the left and maybe a guy in their street the right side doesn't matter anymore so then you stack multiple people one side and it becomes a battle of will they fuck up and die to us standing above them or will they just not fucking like approach and just let us get so many points on the tower which is like unlucky really over water during a long ass check yes pretty much also rays are really fucking strong there like absurdly strong that's why i'm getting to rainmaker i don't think you feasibly win this map and rainmaker without a stinker if the game lasts i'm not even a fan of stinger we don't even run Stingray because it makes it hard to run in our comp. Rainmaker or Rainmaker Snapper rate is extremely fucking broken. Seems like Ray is strong when you can't get off the tower. Yep. Rainmaker Snapper, the right side is kind of like not used. Like far right, 
you can't if you run the rainmaker up the tarp you're gonna fucking die you're just gonna get shot at you either go through the mid or you go far left far left is when we become when ray becomes fucking insane because i get the ray guy stands on the left ramp far back rays into your spawn while there's probably like a cloud or some shit going off painting the path guys pushing up bombs flying into your spawn the rainmakers is literally swimming in a straight line you get a fuck ton of points and then the ray guy gets another fucking ray and continues to ray in your spawn going up mid is like i don't know kind of works sometimes kind of cringe i don't know i just think this map is way too favorite towards one thing which is why i don't have it as high as it could be it would probably be a if i if the rainmaker was better i think or if the clam was better i'd put it in a or not clown. If the Rainmaker and the TC were better, I'd put it in there. But I think they're way too favored towards one specific, really hyper defensive play style. Which is why I don't have it as high as I think I would. I don't think there's a lot of variance in the way that you play them out. I mean, you can just try to continuously run it down, but then you will probably get punished because when you're running it down on the map, you're running it up a slope. So you, the enemy team has permanent high ground on you. If Ray wasn't in the game, it'd be a. If Ray wasn't in the game, you would just fucking spray people. Like, you would just have weapons that just spray. The left side of push would just be a bit better for Rainmaker, but, like, Ray is what makes it so awful. I think we played one game. If anyone remembers the Grand, uh, Grand Grading Grouse tournament, when he played in Grands against ex Japanese pickup that I don't remember the name of because it changes every time. Neither team had a raid. And we just fucking fought and spawned the entire game. And I don't think that's like inherently better. Like you it's just like a fucking clusterfuck of people just fighting in base. Because the middle of the map the middle of the map matters when there's a raid because it just stalls you in the middle of the map the whole time. When there's no ray, you just fight and spawn. I don't think the entire map doesn't get to get used it's either spawn or mid it's either you're getting camped or you're fighting in spawn for five minutes so it's like pit in your opinion no pit is just shit because you just don't get to do anything ever like you can you can kind of push against the ray on snapper like you can also ray from your spawn for, on defense i didn't mention that that's really good but pit is just like it's you don't have more than one path like you can mix it up and go mid on snapper but you'll probably get shot by somebody else but you have the option to on pit you don't have the option i didn't mean to put that there what am i doing stop go back can i not put it back at the bottom okay has to be black belly can be anything else this black belly is really fucking bad on two of the notes um, Black Belly Zones. I think he's kind of figured out. <laughs> you play tri here. you play Custom Jet, you play like rollers and shit, you play brushes, you just fucking fight for top mid. It's pretty simple, you know how to play the map. You split, you have one guy retake from right, you have one guy retake from left, you retake from mid, you go top mid, the fucking tri saucers, you just fucking fight. It's another one of those maps where like, instead of it being the other way around where it makes you think that it's really fucking good for long range weapons you think it's really good for short range weapons and long range is shit except long range is actually pretty good because you can sit on top mid and abuse top mid and kind of abuse their side when you get closer so that map isn't as bad as you would think it is if you know how to play your long range weapons properly you don't just get kind of shit on it's pretty yeah most straight for, it's pretty fucking straightforward everyone knows how to play black belt There's not much to say about the zones, Black Billy. Um, Rainmaker. I see a lot of mixed opinions about I see a lot of people say Rainmaker Black Billy is fucking amazing. And then I also see a lot of people say Rainmaker Black Billy is fucking awful. But I don't... I'm like not on the... I, know, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good because... It's... I don't like... Here's the thing. I think if people think that there's only one path because they go left at the start. Like, they go through the half pipe. Right? People go through the half pipe and then they get fucking stingered. 
here's the thing here's what you're supposed to do you don't go left with the rainmaker ever you don't take the rainmaker through the half pipe ever you go right and you go into their mid like hills when the ray pops in your top right you switch elevations here's the thing this is how you dodge rays you change elevation there is a fuck ton of elevation on black belt you can drop you can drop into their hill you can play around the block you jump on the block you jump on the top right you drop into the left then you can go left you can go left from their hills when the ray is being popped because ray is not good at hitting that spot it's pretty weak at hitting that spot but if you go through left half pipe then you just fucking die because you're in a straight line and the elevation doesn't really change that much because there's not that much room there it's too fucking i don't know it's too narrow of a place to go even though there's like elevation changes so you go mid and you play around the middle of the hills that's why i think i think the people who don't like the map i was drinking water i think the people who don't like the map don't play around the hills enough which makes sense because a lot of people pick like charger and they pick like shooters and shooters aren't the best at playing around the hills you don't really have like a bucket or a roller etc or a blaster that weapon fucking sucks by the way you need weapons to play around the hills and shit and then you can put pressure on from both sides then maybe you can go left and then maybe you can go and if you put too much pressure on left then the guy has to rotate to watch you and then you send it straight through the right side you need to be able to take their entire side and then you can push depending on taking the remaker mid and then and the man left for the points oh yeah that's what i was mentioning like you go mid and then you go left or you go mid and then you go or then you go far right or you straight up send it through right side you don't go far left at the start or that's how you just fucking lose them out but um clan black belly is fucking awful it's it's too bad the, the spawn for the the spawns are too bad the clam spawns are super far back they're like on top mid and shit like in your side of your base and then the enemy team the enemy team like kind of can't retake if you take the if you take the entire spawn the enemy team can't fucking do shit because they have to drop down and to use like super sharking them the clam basket is like kind of far from their spawn it's just not a good look if you have like if you have any long range weapon on the great and the enemy team doesn't have one they insta lose the fucking game and i don't think i need to explain why tc black belly is terrible <laughs> is clam camping a thing what do you mean by clam camping but i don't think i need to explain why tc black belly is bad the the path is just too fucking fast you just lose the game like the first checkpoint you, you fight for the first checkpoint that's like the only part of the map that's like contested and then after that you just lose the fucking game <laughs> If you grab it, they wouldn't respawn. Clams will always spawn at... If you pick up... Sp if no one picks up clams at all, no more new clams will spawn. But if you pick up clams in one sin in one spot, then the clams will just respawn somewhere else in the map or some or in that spot again. So the that's how clam spawns work. But yeah, there's no explanation for TC Black Belly. It's fucking dick. Clam bits is okay. The other two are pretty good, I think. I think the rest of the maps are going in actually i if this was an all zones tier list i'd be fucking be ragdolling on this map so fucking hard but it's fucking all mode so i'll give it the benefit i'll give it some fucking merit we'll put this we'll put this here actually no we're not fucking that's where we got i have to put starfish in b starfish is not a fucking a tier map actually neither is that Joey. fuck it neither of those in our a tier maps Okay. Um, starfish. Starfish zones is pretty good. I'm a fan of it. Actually, I'm not a fan of it. I don't know. Starfish zones is pretty simple. It's like simple in the fact that how black belly is. Like we all know how to play starfish zones, right? It don't feel. It doesn't feel like it's too like heavily lockout favored. Doesn't feel like it's too in favor of the team just winning the game. I mean, if you like drop if you just drop down you're just gonna fucking die and feed so like don't do that 
<laughs> it's not like inherently super strong for like charger and shit charger is really good as in it can it can shoot into your spawn but like so is shit like on the opposite side of the spectrum like roller and try will also just sit below you and it's to kill you in your court i think starfish is the map that features teams or like makes you like have to play very aware because if you don't then you just get flanked and you just all die i'm a fan um clam starfish it literally plays the exact same as zones pretty much except you're scoring and then you back up it, it's actually the exact same i'm a fan except for like the left part of the map is kind of different um not a fan of tc starfish gonna be real not don't rock with it i think the checkpoint it's like pit i think it's a bit harder than pit actually clearing the checkpoint the one under the left under the snipe the enemy has way too much high ground on you from top left and from yeah from top left and near their snipe not a fan of tc starfish it's way too in favor of the defending team to get into their base to stop them from camping you you have to walk along a grate and by walking along the grate as i said earlier with a lot of maps walking along grates walking along tarps die so that's that's literally the only thing holding back that map is that the tc version of the map is kind of dick honestly and i guess the rainmaker I'm okay with Rainmaker Starfish. I know a lot of people. I don't. I see. Mi I see the mixed opinions on Rainmaker Starfish, kind of like how I see on Black Bear. A lot of people like it, and a lot of people think it's dick. But I think it's because everyone just forces bottom, and they don't like take into account maybe you can go top left. Also, you can just send a person top left, so you're not just all pushing through the bottom side. Pushing four people through one side is usually bad as i've said before with other maps that forces you to push four people through one side so i'm all right with it so like that's why i think the map is that's why i have the map at b and i'm a i think it's okay two of the modes are pretty good two of the modes are like eh, whatever simply seven a starfish is pretty simple move on from starfish <clears throat> Alright, here's the thing. I don't hate anchovy zones because a I don't hate it because of a weapon bias. Because I think my weapons are pretty good there. I hate anchovy zones because I think the gameplay is fucking cringe. But the other three modes are good enough for me to keep it up here. Anchovy Zones is a literal fucking stall fest. You sit on your plat and you sit on your fan. It's actual AFK gaming. gaming. You just keep the zone from plat and fan. If you drop into the bottom of the map, if, if for one second crosses your mind that you think, yeah, I'm gonna fight for mid, and you drop mid on Anchovy, you instantly fucking explode. <laughs> Because everyone is permanently above you on the fan or on their plat or a charger staring at you from plat shooting you cross zone You can't fucking play the game. You can't fight Anchovy zones Super played map. I don't know why I think it's fucking horrid if this was a zones only tier list I'd put anchovy down here, but the other modes are fucking carrying it the Actual afk gaming But you could retake which is cool. The mid is AFK gaming, which is ugh, whatever. But like, um, retaking on the map is like doable if you don't if you don't fully lose your foot your your plat. Here's the thing: I, you have to lose two fights. You lose mid, and then you have to lose plat. If you lose plat, the game's over because you're not fucking getting back in. If you lose mid, you have options because you have the right flank, which is like people will watch it. But the fact that you're on the right flank and you have the you put paint on the zone from there makes it so that you can actually retake from your plat and on your wall um tc and show me what did you say jetpack feels very strong and show you for the other most it is very strong 
Hey, once you pass mid, the map is playable. <laughs> but if you pass plat, then you just lose the game. But I think it's fair. If you lose two fights, then you start to you know, get fucked in your spawn. But it's alright. Also, he has blood is good on anchovy. Uh, TC anchovy. I'm a fan. I think the wall is kind of obnoxious. But I think the wall... I think I only don't like the wall... I. This is a weapon bias. I don't think it's bad. This is a weapon bias because I just can't fucking hit the wall. You want shit that can hit the wall, shit that can sit on the fan and hit the wall, like a jet, like a charger, like heavy. Jetpacks. Jetpacks are really good there. Things that can do damage on the wall. Short range is really good for the street. I think it's one of the map moves that is like pretty in favor of like different varying types of gameplay. The big girth wall. You did not miss big girth wall. We're talking about girthy wall right now, actually. Talk about the TC girth wall. Clearing the wall, kind of difficult without like jetpacks and shit, but like you just run jetpacks. Jetpack is probably one of the best specials on anchovy. Jetpack and missiles because you need shit to clear the wall. You can retake, you can flank right. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool that you can flank right. Like the little fan flank right or like the flank right around the map. It gives you options to clear. Anchovy clam sleep. Ooh, sleeper isn't a bad thing. Oh no, you're trolling. We're not even there yet. That's why I saved that for less. But then we're gonna talk about Rainmaker. Rainmaker Anchovy, there is a <laughs> there's a very bad stigma surrounding Rainmaker Anchovy. Because people like to take it right. But have you considered taking it right? And then getting onto their office area, like going up the block and getting onto office, like not like fully going through the fan, but taking the Rainmaker right only to get into office. That's pretty viable. It is a solo fight. I think that is pretty viable. It also helps you skip the fact that if you go left, if you go left and you uh, like go through the fan, it it's helps you skip the fact that like, you're not just like getting camped by the guy on the wall. Also, you can just send a guy right flank. I think the reason that people won't like anchovy rain is because people kept the wall or kept the grating around the wall. But you just you just send someone on the flank and go shoot them, or you take the rainmaker right and then you go into the office, not like far right around the fucking spawn. Now we like anchovy clams. Listen, here we go. Now we start to explain anchovy clams. Okay, why is anchovy clams pretty all right? Another map that's kind of like fucking Muscle Forge. Have options. You can go right, you can go through their mid, you can go on their fan and go left instead of just going on their fan and forcing right. How do you have these options? What do you do on this map? How do you play this map? It's bad in solo, not comp. Exactly. It's bad in solo because people just fucking send it one direction. You don't split push. This is the thing. You have to split push. Is the exact reason that Muscle Forge is bad in so people aren't intelligent enough to split push. You split, you send two people right, two people mid. Or you send one person right, no one person right. You can, you can, you just, you heavily force one side, you have a flank come in, or you split push, and it just fucking work both sides of the map at the same time. You pop missiles, and people have to back up from plot, they just can't fully defend you. If a guy's sitting, if people are heavily stacking wall on anchovy, you fast send their right side. People are heavily stacking right side on anchovy. You fast send it plot. It's one of those maps where it, if you're slow on decisions, you get fucked up. If you're sending four people one side, you're going to get fucked up because you're just going to get fucking pushed from fan. And people on right side are going to have high ground over you. It's one of those maps. You're probably going to want bubbles. I guess that's every clan map. You want bubbles. But like. You know, you want clouds and shit, you want clouds, missiles, jetpack. Cloud, missile, and jetpack help you clear this map. It's gonna make you feel like way less shit if you think it's horrible. Run those three specials. I guarantee you they'll be like, holy fuck, man, it feels so much easier to push on this map. There's also bubbles, but like, whatever. Bubbles are always gonna be good. What's next? We have two maps left. We have two maps. I'm back. No, no. I'm not putting Hell Dragon Blood Monty. I'm back. If we're here, I'll put it. I'll put it. 
Okay, we're gonna talk about humpback first. Humpback Zones is a cringe fest. It is also an AFK gaming map like Anchovy. AFK gaming map, you just sit on your side and you fucking paint. You spam Booyah Bombs and shit. You spam Bomb Rushes. You spam Explode Shots. But, but, while that spam is really fucking cringe and annoying, I think it gives you a lot of variance in the way that you play. Leader is, unironically, pretty good on this map. Short range weapons, roller, and like try and bucket and everything else is pretty good on this map. You can get shot in your spawn by a charger. You can get camped in your spawn by an explode. But you also just fucking insta die in mid to all the other short range shit. So like, it's pretty evenly sided for both sides of the coins. Like, hyper defensive play, hyper aggressive play. It works for both. I think it's pretty nice. TC. I. I haven't played TC fucking humpback in comp in entirely too long. When I played it before, I'm pretty sure I unironically have not played the map TC in a year. So I can't really give opinions on it. Yo, Fractal Chess. Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. I'm not really I, I don't know. I wasn't too opposed to it, honestly, because you know Charger walk Charger walks into your spawn on that map into the right side and starts fucking shooting you in the base. You also just have short range weapons, capping below your drop. I don't know, I think it gives you a lot of variance. But like, I don't know, I haven't played it in a while. Can't really give too much of an opinion on it. Rainmaker Humpback is not that bad. People think it's fucking horrid because they instantly get knocked out, but people are just shit at Rainmaker, so that's why I think they instantly get knocked out. You also have paps. You can go left. Left side on Humpback Rain is a very viable option. Yeah, solo queue. Solo queue makes this map bad. This is why people don't like Rainmaker Humpback, because of solo queue. Humpback Rainmaker is fucking godlike. Ray is not like insane. Ray is good for holding the right, I guess, but then it runs out and then like, cool, whatever, you start pushing. So it's not like fucking like super absurd like it is on some maps. You also have the left push, which gets you a lot of points. If you didn't know, left side is very viable on that map, and you get a lot of points. You also can send the guy going left on the flank, or you can push left and have the guy go right and push. Also, people don't do this, but you can fast push. After you get pushed, you take your rail from spawn, you send the Rainmaker through the rail, and then you're instantly on their left side of the map. Which is what makes the left side like super viable out of retail. And I just mentioned the rail, so now we're gonna talk about clams on this map, which is fucking boring as shit. It's an Omega Stallfest, but it's boring and Mega Stallfest because people don't use the rail. If you use the rail, all right, here, here we go, here we go. Pump back clams. You push into mid. You collect your clams. You want to start pushing how do you push you have to go below their fucking basket right unlucky right unlucky really you're gonna get fucking destroyed because you have to go below the basket right you want to go right side and people are just gonna stand and watch you go right so i've been talking about this on every other stage that you want to split the map or split push and go multiple different directions and this is how you push you have to have a guy left side. i mean you don't have to but it makes it so much easier to have a guy go left how do you get left? You go through your spawn, through the rail, onto their top left, and now instead of just sitting in the left bunker defending mid, stopping you from getting under their basket, they now have to worry about a guy that's standing above them on the left side. So now the map is actually split, and now they have to watch every direction instead of just watching two. Also, Nikito. Homeida. 72. Thanks for following. I appreciate it. One left, or one mid, one left, two right. Um, some variation of that. I think one left, always, always one left. Maybe never two, I don't think. Actually, maybe two. I'm a fan. I personally, I'm a fan of going left by myself, having a jetpack popped over the left side, some guy pushes right, and then the guy starts throwing a clutch from mid. 
but I think you could also send, I think you could send two people anywhere, and it'd be fine. Two people will also just put heavy pressure on one side, so if, like, you want to, like, break through one side in particular, or if you think that side is really weak for them, you'll do that. So that's why, that's why Humpback is up here and not, like, here. Actually, it's higher, it's fucking higher than fucking that. Actually, we... So, I think Humpback All Modes is pretty good. Zones is like, kind of stally. I'm not a fan of it, but like, it's it's good. TC, I haven't I haven't played TC enough to know if it's good or not. It might be fucking horrid, but it would be A anyway. Because the Rainmaker's good, the Clam is alright if you know how to play it properly, the Zones is good, and the TC, I'm like, kind of shaky on the right now. Last map, Mansa. It's kind of weird that I'm getting the last map in the game. A lot of people do not like Mansa. And I don't know why. Do you have any Mansa haters in the chat? I know I know we have some Mansa haters in the chat. Why do we hate Mansa? I like Mansa. I'll tell you why I like Mansa. I love Mansa, I like Mansa, I love Mansa. Mansa Sims is awesome, Mansa is decent. Right, we have one Manta hater in the chat. Tell me why you dislike Manta. You hate Ra Rainmaker? Alright, cool. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Alright, here we go. We're gonna talk about Manta. Zones, Manta. Another, I, I've been saying, it's it's the same thing as these maps around here or up here. Good weapon variants. E-Leader, fucking obnoxious as shit on that map. Stands on top mid, shoots you in your spawn. Stands on their fucking greats, shoots you in your spawn. Or in your top left. Roller shoots you through fucking walls, kills you in your base through walls. That shit is obnoxious. Bucket hits you over walls in your spawn. I like that it's a split mode. I like split zones maps. Besides pit, I fucking hate pit. I, I like that this is split zone because you have to control your side and also control their side, right? So you don't you don't actually get like hyper locked out because you can kind of just stall one of the sides, right? Also, I like the play around the fucking grate and the, the grate and the fucking mass. I think it's really nice, really kind of, it's unique in the way that it's good because people just fight around the mass. You got to hold the mass. You get cool flanks onto their right side. You can flank the right side of their spawn, or not right side of their spawn, right side of their bunker. You pressure their top, pressure the left. Maybe if you're fucking weird, you go for a full flank around their spawn. I think it's also pretty, not easy, this is one of the harder maps to retake on, I think. Like, up here. Like, these maps are, like, you can retake. But this map's kind of hard to retake because the one flank into mid... The one flank is also just directly connected to mid. It's not, like, flanking around anything. So it's harder to retake because you just have to, like, full force your way into mid. But the fact that it's split zone allows you to full force your way into mid just by stalling one zone and, like buying time rather than like let's just fucking send four people into the middle of the stage right tc mount tc mount is also probably one of the more popular maps it's probably like up there it's not as high as inkblot tc in popularity but it's it's fucking up there <laughs> i feel like i play that map a lot i like the i don't know it's one of those maps that have a lot of options lets you split push lets you like for, focus one side once you push into their bunker with the tower you can like jump across into their spawn into their fucking greats really good for fucking i don't know not really the great for charters i guess maybe it's all right good for splatlings one of the few maps that is good for splatling uh, i don't know it has a lot of weapon variants really short range is really good in the chokes long range is really good in the mid long range is also really good in the chokes if you like take aggressive positioning he's pretty good lets you play hyper defense if you're really good at helping bunker also lets you play hyper aggression if you're really good at just pushing top left and forcing through street and forcing through mid. I don't know how to feel about Clam Manta because I have not played it in a while. I I think the last time I played Clam Manta in tournament was the first tournament that FT Win played. I'm not joking. I haven't played this map in comp in for fucking ever, so I don't know what it's like. So I haven't played this map in like two years, but, but off the top of my head, I can see where people will hate it 
and I can also see where it probably plays like anchovy. Like, it, it literally probably plays like anchovy. You can go right, you can go through their mid, but you also have the left push path. I don't know, I'd have to play it, which I, I wish it was in tourney so I could see how to play it. In my head, it's pretty decent because there's a different way to push, and I don't think you just need, like, a tent. Yeah, I think if you just need, like, a fucking tent, and you have to be invincible to push on a clan map, it's fucking dog shit. Like, look at all these maps down here. I don't think you have to be invincible and just not get shot at the push on clan map. So I think you can take that with specials with, like, missiles and, like, jetpack. So, like, I, I don't know. I don't mind it. In my head, I don't mind it, at least. Rainmaker Anchovy? I'm a fan. I'm, a, I'm honestly a fan. I think it's one of the better Rainmaker maps. Because... While the Rainmaker itself is very strong on this map, like you sitting... Alright, eh, Mato, yeah. Not Mato, not Anchovy, Mato. While the Rainmaker itself is really strong on Manta, like you just shooting from bunker into their street and shit, it's also pretty easy to just like push it and throw bombs. You can also play your spawn grace. You can play your top left. Also, it has multiple paths. You can go right. You can go fast right. You can go go fast right, drop into their court. You go top left and shoot into their top left. You're giving them their bunker. Not really know if you want to do that, but you can go left. You can go on mid and like take a slower route without having your teammates push through right and push through left. I don't know. I like the options on that map. I think defending on that map is it's kind of difficult once they get into your spawn but like you have you have to lose the mid fight and then you have to lose your street so again you have to lose two fights before you start getting fucked up in your spawn which again i always think it's fine if you have to lose two fights before you get fucked up in your spawn i don't like the maps where you lose one fight and you instantly lose the game i think this is one of those maps where you have to lose twice and then you start losing the game pretty hard. If you lose once on Manta and you instantly are getting fucked in your spawn, you don't know how to defend properly. You're not defending the mid. You're just letting them run through the mid and giving them way too much space. You can respawn, sit on their grates, spam bombs, throw bombs, start spraying them because you have high ground over them for the most part. Also play on the little left wall out of your spawn. The right trick? Yeah, yeah. the far right trick kind of cringe. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't. You can play around that. So that's why I think the map's pretty good. Ends up in A. I might put it below. I'm not going to put it above block. I think the other maps are too good on block. Besides like clamps. So. Here is my map tier list for all modes. I have done. I have concluded. That was two hours and fucking 40 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah. Thanks for watching the map tier list. I appreciate it guys. If you want to catch more of this, you can catch me streaming live on Twitch at KyoChan DXD. I'm sorry. Uh, live on Twitch, KyoChan DXD. Same thing on YouTube. Same thing on Twitter. Literally the same in all four places. By YouTube. By Twitch stream. Everyone watching this, thanks for watching. Uh, that's it. Here's my map tier list. If you don't agree with it, your opinion is incorrect. But uh, I'd be down to have you comment in the description why you don't agree with it. Probably not going to agree with you. But it'll be a nice read. So, peace, peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.